Yo, the gamers for Pirate Arc here. Hmm, not gonna be able to do much to save her. Yeah, what up? We're back for the second game of episode 3 of Cast of the Diamond. Gonna be running the same rune setup as before. Running the same build again, since I've seen no reason to switch away from that. Starting off with a very awkward start. Hey, when my intro my intros always get interrupted by invades. I guess they should be taking red. I don't think they left our jungle. Ooh. Wait, this is their top laner. If we cancel his base. Yeah, that's huge. There might also be people in there. I would suggest there probably is. Yeah. So don't get baited into that. But this is so bad for Darius. He didn't even get an assist off of the level 1. Okay, kill. Uh, they're alone for now. I think we can just fight here. I'm gonna pop Ghost. There we go. Where's the rest of them? I'm gonna pop my potion because I expect an extended fight here. Ooh. Damn it. I'll be able to get him. Do I, question is, do I need to flash? I do. Okay. Really should have flashed the wall just to be safe because uh, I ran out of ghost there and almost wasn't in range. Anyway, that was really, really good. Um, this absolute disaster for Darius. He's been gone from lane for so long just to die. Unreal. And I got a double kill there. Should have been a triple. I'm actually mad that the Maokai autoed Karma for the last hit there, but it will. Anyway, uh, we did start with Longsword three pots here, by the way, because of the matchup. Looking at it, it's uh, Karma, Jin. I felt they would have a lot of poke. And it would take a while before Maka is really at a stage, a stage where he can actually engage. Which is going to be our only counterplay to the enemy bot lane here. So, I figured I would take Longsword 3 pass just to help me stay healthy. And be ready to just capitalize on any engage Maka I can eventually land. Obviously if I'm too low, we're not going to be able to do anything. So, getting extra potions here feels important for the matchup. In hindsight, though, like this would have worked perfectly fine with Doran's blade, and we do also we're basically also forced to go to a Dirk here, which is fine. It should be fine anyway, but uh, pretty much have to do it. I think I'm not sure you can really get Q evolve in a timely manner with this build if you start longsword over Doran's blade unless he goes to a Dirk. But anyway, I can go ahead and spend my gold already. You know what? I kind of feel tempted to just get coal. Is coal troll here? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see whether I like it or not. I don't usually do it on Kai'Sa. But I feel like it could basically replace Thorn's Blade in my build. That's such an early base where we get our serrated Dark Power Spike anyway. So why not? Okay, we're possibly about to get a gank. I could use W to loss hit this, but I'll save it in case it could be crucial for getting the kill. Okay, I don't know why she's not actually ganking. She is kind of low, but there's no chance that we wouldn't win a fight here. Yeah, if Nidalee had been flanking with us, that would have been great. Oh, well. And so, um, after that one game of testing, it's been my only test, but it did feel like the best Kai'Sa build, doing Kraken Slayer into Navori. Yeah. That's not all. Oh no, you're kidding me. Ah, damn it, my bad. Okay. I'll disengage here. Bit of a shame. I was saving my W in case she tried to flash, but then uh, Jin was just blocking. Oh, nice. Okay. Let's try and crash this fast. Yeah, I'm going to need to crash another wave, but it's a can of wave, so this is going to be really awkward.
She, she has to block him off, otherwise he can just walk away. Oh, she's not even gonna follow it through. I would say we can. Like, even me on Mark, I can just dive him, like, right now. Yep, so Makai dies there. Maybe I could have avoided it. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Hmm. Might be able to kill her now. Mm. I should have waited for that shield to run out, actually. Ow. Okay, that's a kill, right? Yep, perfect. Okay, leave the wave there. Leave the wave. This is a perfect wave state. It's going to push back towards us. <laughs> nice one. God, I love Ghost and Kaisa, actually. I guess we'll go for refillable. <coughs> I'm gonna get super early boots as well, by the way. Anyway, yeah, so, um, for th this is the build that I think is best, which we're gonna be doing again. I, I haven't done enough testing yet, really, but it is what I'm leaning towards being the best build is, you know, Kraken Slayer into Navori, as we did last game. That being said, um, she still has some situational, uh, factors into her build for example uh, we were occasionally doing on hit on kaisa before and we will continue to do that whenever we see a tanky comp uh if you have the foresight in champ select and know that you're gonna want to go on hit you would do well to run alacrity instead of bloodline because you're gonna be getting bork first or second item anyway but it's not too big a deal if you happen to go bloodline it's not like you're locked out of being able to do on hit there we go Probably gonna have to leave him to die, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm very close to being able to base for pickaxe. I think I'll risk just trying to hard shove this wave. I'm just uh, base for a pickaxe. I could get ganked while I do it, is the risk, but. Wow, he really wants to go aggressively here for some reason. That's fine. We don't necessarily win one to one with his fourth shot, but I can trade two autos there. Oh, damn. That should have been a hit. Wait, I can't ult now. There we go. I'm definitely dead here. Damn it, I even got my last shot off, but it just barely didn't kill. Is Makai gonna get her? Perfect, okay, that was so close. Okay, I'm gonna have kill evolve as soon as I <laughs> level up. Only enough, Thorn's Blade would have given me my kill evolve already. And there is a world where this could actually screw you. If you ha if I happen to get into a fight here before I get level 7, not having kill evolve could easily lose me that fight. <laughs> but that's alright. Also, actually, yeah, I wouldn't actually have kill Vov if I didn't go cold, though. Huh. Could have sworn people used to do this without Thorns Blade and it worked just fine. Hmm. Oh well, lesson learned. Damn it. There we go. Go ahead and place a trinket here. <laughs> Ooh, that could be a good engage. He didn't notice. Actually, I should have dragged it over here because... Hmm, I suppose the other one is fine, but if I dragged it over to the other wave, I could have created a freeze with that. People usually would say that you need, like, three casters or something like that to freeze. It really just depends, though. If you can, like, drag over even just one minion all the way over to the rest of its, like, the incoming wave, then that's enough to create enough of a minion advantage to freeze with. It's only if the one minion is getting immediately killed by your wave here, and the other wave doesn't join until much later. That's when you can't freeze with one minion. That being said, this is still a good wave state because they actually gave us a freeze anyway, but uh, 
Like, either way, it forced them to overextend if they want to farm, which... It's, it only really matters, though, if... Mach actually punishes that. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Not gonna get a kill on Karma, sadly, so I kind of wasted Ghost. I was hoping for a multi-kill there. Nice one. Come on, Makai. Oh, what? I should have been out of range of that. Hang on. There we go. Okay. A little bit risky. May still die to Rengar, but we'll see. Actually, I really want to get out of here and just not shove a wave because I have a 300 gold shutdown. I'd really, oh god, rather avoid handing that over to Rengar or to anybody else. Oh, Jesus, I almost died. God, that was a close one. I think I got really lucky there. Yeah, we're going to give up on the wave, but it's whatever. It is what it is. Is that at least scripting? I swear, I swear I saw like a really weird dodge. Just like right here. Now that I think about it, all of his spheres are like really on point. I'm gonna keep an eye on that. I don't think I've ever seen a scripting Nidalee before though. There's no reason why you couldn't script on her. Okay, Karma's top for whatever reason, so... What me and, what me and Malkai can do here is just very easily dive this gen. Like, sh but it appears that from that distance, though, like, it's partially on the enemy for not dodging it, right? Oh, God. Oh, wow, we're just destroyed here. My God. Not bad. Holy fuck, I got destroyed there. I died to, like, almost nothing except her ult. Mmm, that blows. Needed to wait for Maokai. Couldn't win that without him. Well, wow, that th this Katarin is the pretty much the only person doing well on their comp, or at least like they're getting absolutely destroyed despite her being six and zero. Like she's only got a one fifty gold shutdown because of the fact that she's on a team that's just massively behind. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot of our turret gone. Shouldn't be able to take the turret though. We should get a ward in there. That was every chance the Warwick might, or uh, Rengar might just jump out of that bush to kill me, but good thing it didn't happen. Oh, damn it, he's right there. There we go, we forced him to stay. Ah, took two turret shots for that, I should've just got hit by his W. Uh, we'll try and join here. I've got ult. Oh boy, Vega's about to die if he doesn't have E. Yeah, he's dead. Wow, Vega. He even gave him an escape is the worst part. He let him dash away from us. There we go. Wow. Easy kill there. Didn't even have to use Q. Oh. Okay, nice. Perfect. Didn't get the gen, but we do get his teammates. I'm amazed he didn't even try and support his team with W or R there. Could have done that pretty safely. I mean, not completely safely, because technically, I would. If he tries to use ult, I can see where he's doing it from and press W and ult on him. But uh, at the very least, that would take me out of the rest of the fight, right? Oh, look, we're one CS away from Cole. Good thing we're staying for one extra wave anyway. There we go. Anyway, I do feel like the Cole was actually a pretty good adaption to the build here, to still get that early kill evolve while going Serrated Dirk. Not bad. Something I'll be doing again if I feel the need to start Longsword. I just wouldn't bother doing it if you have uh, Doran's Blade, is all. Actually, I probably should have sold Cole for Quick Look here, but it will. not as worth holding on to as Doran's Blade is. 
I wouldn't go around selling it for daggers or long swords or something like that, because those components are very small, but Quick Cloak is somewhat significant, even before you have a lot of items. What? How did I not get that? I gotta be careful here. Katarina could be choosing anywhere. Like, I'm, I'm wondering to myself, like, why is Jin so confident here? He knows I can easily just run him down. So why is he, why is he just playing like this? I don't know where Katarina would be, though. Okay, well, Katarina's mid, so is it Rengar? Do they have maybe Rengar, like, hovering over here, ready to ult if I engage? It could just be that Jin is bad. Absolutely. But I don't want to take that risk. Okay, so Rengar, at the moment, we know he's top, so at the moment, this should be perfectly safe, as soon as I see Karina on the map, at least. Uh, she might be roaming now. But fuck it, I'm going in. Ah, wait. It's barely not of range. God damn it, that's annoying. They need to buff the rank 1 Kaisa ult range, man. That's crazy. Oh. Oh. Didn't expect him to get rooted. There we go. Nice one. Ah, he didn't need to take that kill, though. Like, what's the ignite for there, man? Oh well. Pretty sure it was the Ignite that took the last hit. Oh god. I don't want to lock myself into my W animation while Karina's in front of me. Can I base already? Yeah, I can already get Navori. Ooh. Okay, so this game, I'm thinking Collector third is going to be pretty good again. They only really have one tanky champion. It was just like in the previous game as well. They had Mundo, but I could tell that I was so ahead and he was so behind, I think, that we were just going to be having no trouble killing him no matter what we build. So in that case, we can just afford to go Collector, so we can just try and one-shot the Squishies as efficiently as possible. One-shotting Katarina will also be very valuable. The faster we kill her, the less chance she has to kill me. I'm going... I don't know where that Rengar is. Oh god. Jesus. Okay, if they had vision there, I might have been dead. I thought it was going to be just Rengar. I think Rengar's waiting to go on me. Hmm. Oh, that's a enemy top laner. But it was ours. We're gonna throw the W on Karma, hopefully that kills her. It did not kill her. Maokai did though. Any chance of can ult Katarina? Not right now. Who was that? That was the that was Jin, what the hell? <laughs> Why? Bro, is it has, has he seen my score? Oh yeah, the rank does say iron one by the way, but this is more like mid silver. At least the last game was after I checked after the game. I can check uh, this game as well, let me see. Yeah, most people in this game are silver too. But we're really playing. Jin himself is actually in rank though, and he was actually gold season Well, so I mean, he's not, he's not that bad a player. That was just a massive brain fart from him, I guess. Nice, we got it. She doesn't have ult, does she? Oh god! Wow, I just got melted through my ult. I didn't even see my shield go up. I just got one shot through it. Man, I was thinking she wouldn't be much of a threat because <laughs> we wasted her ult, but nope. That was uh, very threatening. Oh well. Let's the coal now. That is a weird Darius build, by the way. He's actually playing full tank, not even Bruiser Darius. He's not going to do too much damage. Uh, there's nowhere for me to farm right now, so I'm basically just going to go topside, and I'm going to get either, either Wolves or Gromp. Ideally, Gromp, I guess it's going to be, because Nidalee's going for Wolves. But we can't farm top, we can't farm bot, we can't farm mid because Vega's already there. So basically, in an ideal world, Nidalee would off, be off in Narnia or something, and I could take Grump and Blue. 
In fact, maybe I'll just still just do that anyway. I do have more mana issues than she does anyway, since she's a jungler, so she gets free mana regen out of her pet. So it seems like she didn't even mind. Awesome. If she'd spam pinning me back, I would have maybe considered not taking it. But it was worth a shot since I didn't have anything else to farm. I don't want to go through aggressive there. Okay, we'll go... Well, I would do red buff, but I want to shove a mid, mid lane wave first. God, the wave clear is just so nice. Even even without the Ravenous Hydra, which we've stopped building on this patch because of the changes. Still such nice wave clear. Thanks no worry. Yeah, there's no denying, like pretty much on every champion. Going the Warrior Infinity Edge now, second item, instead of whatever they were doing before, like usually Phantom Dancer, especially for Kaisa, for example. You just do way more damage at the item point if you go Infinity Edge or Navori. For Kaisa, I think especially Navori is better. It's just so good with her abilities. It's a bit more expensive, but you definitely have a lot more impact once you finish it compared to previous patches. Oh. I don't quite want to ult in. I want to save my ult in case I need it for defensive purposes. Where did Katarina go? Recalling, I guess. Okay, here comes Rengar. My damage is crazy. My Q doesn't do too much damage here. It's gonna be spread so fucking thin with all those minions. Oh, my Q didn't go off. Okay, he just kindly walks back in. Oh, <laughs> Nidalee. Is there anybody that can stop me ending here? Arena's up in 17. Yeah, because, because the wave died, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to push there. I won't even bother trying, because I could definitely get that Nexus turret, but then I probably just died at Katarina after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just see what I can steal from their jungle. Okay, Raptors. That is. I don't want to go for Golems as well. That would be pretty deep. Let's go ahead and base now. And so yeah, this game is a better example. Like, look, we just get the immediate E evolve. Oh damn! I probably don't have enough for Lost Whisper or or Dominic's Now that I think about it, I could do Lost Whisper here, but I also feel like it's unnecessary once we already have the E evolve anyway. But again, Lord Dominic's is also not really that important against their comp anyway. Like, they don't really have a tank. The Taurus is kind of a tank, but it's still not really that tanky. So I'm just going to go for Bloodthirster now. Get some extra healing. I think she's about to die to my W. Ah, oh, didn't get it. Right, oh well. Oh, Jesus. We pop the Ghost here. Oh my god, the Taurus does damage. What? Okay, apparently just that one item did damage. Oof. Yeah, I do crazy burst though. Yeah, it was this fucking uh, heart steal. God, how much did that was 368 damage extra to Doris's Oh god. Auto. Alright, I'm gonna base now. I mean, maybe they're gonna end, but I feel like 
It would be silly not to spend my gold here. There we go. Oh my lord. I got her? No, I don't. Damn it. Hang on. How did she survive that again? I'm gonna get out of here. Now I can one shot her. Oh, wasted my kill on a minion. That's alright. <laughs> nice. Holy is dead. See, in this case, one shotting is the best defense. Truly. That Bluffster must also have been putting in some work there. All that healing. Alright, and that's gonna be it for game two. I hope you guys enjoyed this game, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yo, what up gamers? We're back for game number seven. My team did not notice that there was a Belveth right here that they walked past. And the Belveth was AFK as well. Could have uh, done some, at least done some damage to her. Oh well. Anyway, you guys are not gonna believe this. It's the exact same matchup again. This is actually the same Velkos. This time I talked them into running heal. This is actually an entirely different Nyla and an entirely different Lulu. Same exact matchup. Two games in a row. Let's see if this Nyla has learned from the previous Nyla's lesson. And started running Doran Shield. I mean, how would she, right? She wasn't even in the game. How is she going to learn from somebody else's lesson then? Well, so it's unlikely. Yeah, but we'll see. Nope, yeah, okay. She went Thorn's Blade. So exact same mistake as the previous Nyla. And again, running Domination instead of Resolve. So no second wind. Once again, going to be extremely vulnerable to poke. But let's see if she at least plays the matchup any better than the previous one. Because the previous one definitely took a lot of unnecessary poke in the early game. When she should have been on full HP preservation mode. Oh, so far, not so much. Did Lulu even start E or did she start Q or something? Because I don't think I've. Oh, there we go. Now she shields. Oh, damn it. I thought I had Ghost here. Whoops. Damn it. I was going to sell Pop the Ghost here to chase them down more effectively. Yeah, I forgot. Two matchups in a row facing Lulu. Oh, well. I could have uh, cleansed the Ignite at least. Take less damage there. Ooh, I was hoping to get Nala there. Oh, well. Yeah, let's just shove in one more wave here. Then we'll just be able to base for a long sword and maybe a refillable. This skin is fashioned for survival. There we go. One last W for good luck. And we start the recall. But currently 18 CS to 3. That is pretty brutal. If she doesn't play more carefully than that, then it's gonna get even bigger. Because she just cannot afford to be just walking up to the farm, uh, knowing that she doesn't have the range to trade back against us, and just like allowing herself to take all that damage. Granted, Lulu could have done a lot better there as well. She started shielding way too late, I think. Love, fear, whatever it's called, it's survival that can Okay, so currently they have a bit of a mini wave advantage, so we want to be a little bit cautious here. Careful, Valkaz, too big a wave, buddy. Oh no. Oh my god, he just barely lives, he is so lucky. Nice one. I'm 
Okay. Lethal Tempo is pretty good there to avoid having to go too deep to auto attack. Oh yeah, Warwick Gank here could be really good. If LCMO would flank and come from the enemy jungle. In the meantime, we'll try and push as slowly as possible. We don't want this uh, wave position to change at all. Yeah, like if he had a flank position, this would be so much better. I think they had a ward there as well. Which they were always going to be more likely to have this warded than this warded. He definitely fucked up there. That should have been a free double for us, honestly. But, you know, it is what it is. In the meantime, they were so low, they should be looking for a base. So what we want to do is uh, try and crash this as fast as we can. So if they do base, they're going to miss out on farm. And otherwise, they're going to be forced to stay in the lane. So they are staying in the lane. It's fine. We'll place a trinket so we can keep on pressuring them. It's not just the fact that they're low on mana, but, or low on HP, but also low on mana as well. Especially, uh, mainly on the Lulu's behalf. not getting a kill there but I mean once again like they have to miss out on a lot of farm here I do have to be careful here uh Nala does have her dodge thing available so if she were to actually allow me right now I would lose I have to play defensively at the moment it's I'm mainly just uh bodyguarding for Volkos basically making sure that he's not 1v2 so that she can't engage onto Volkos because Volkos here can put in so much more work than I can I have to be careful not to go too aggressive right now what I can do though is poke away with Q if I happen to get in range so my Q actually does do damage. Got Cookie now, so I'm going to be at least a little bit healthier as well. Unfortunately, Valka's out of mana now. I would stay here, though. No point basing yeah, he, he will get regenerate mana slowly. Hmm. I feel like we may as well just base at this point, though. It's a shame though. I think I'll just stay, but he can base. Let's see, how much mana does he have? He has mana at least for a Q. So, okay, so they're going to be basing right now. Right now they're basing, right? Okay, he gave away thoroughly that we were still here, but they didn't cancel the base, so that's fine. Now we just shove. This is actually really good, because what we do here is... What I usually do in this situation is I'm thinking, Oh shit, they assume we've based, so they're also basing. <laughs> Wait, I should get this plating. And so what you do is you time it. Okay, so they're basing now. So you count like... Seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you walk out of the brush and you start hard shoving the wave as hard as you can. They will. They, if you timed it right, you waited until the recall was finished in fog, and then you crash the wave in time that they miss all of the farm as they did there. So we get a pretty good base here. I get a serrated dirk and double longsword. I would have actually missed out on one longsword if I didn't get that plating. So that's pretty decent. They don't have Q Evolve, but Q should at least be doing quite a bit of damage with the amount of items we currently have. I can rid them of these monsters, but who will save them from themselves? Yep, pretty decent trade there. Okay, thank god I wasn't sure I could get that. Damn it. Okay, we're just gonna focus on slow pushing here. There's no point crashing, because even if they're basing, they can't really base for much. So what we want to do is try and maximize the amount of, Even if they were basing, we would want to just maximize the amount of farm they lose by just slow pushing, because the crash is not gonna crash fast enough. And if they aren't basing, well, then we want to try and zone them for farm, don't we? Okay, Lulu's level 6. Oh, right, of course it's Nyla. That's, that's why in the last game I was surprised by them being level 6 that one time. Of course, because it's Nyla. She gets extra XP. Oh. Oh my lord. Wait, that's brutal. We didn't do any damage to her. What? I hate Nyla so much, you have no idea. I have to wait for her fucking 
dodge to be down, then I get knocked out by her ultimate, knocked out by the Lulu ultimate. Then the fight is over and we haven't even hit her. How lame is that? Oh well. Guess that's a lesson to not put myself in such an all inable position next time and just keep letting Volkos do his poke thing. Ooh. There we go. Ah, I didn't think that would be in range. My bad. You're kidding me. I'm not gonna get in range there. Okay, somebody's coming for me. I'm probably gonna die here. Yep. Ooh, nice knock up. Can Warwick save me? He didn't press E in time. He didn't press E in time. He, he got into melee range of Belveth, then started charging a Z. That is so bad, man. Oh, I should have been fine there. That's so tragic. I thought I was saved. Oh, man. That's so annoying. Oh, well. Dude, if I could have just survived to shove an extra wave, I'd also have Q evolve. Which is pretty important because we've established like the only thing I can actually... Oh, my lord. Due to the old damage to Nala is press Q because of her dodging thing. Such an awkward base. Okay, thank god. Nice one. Actually, you know what? At this point, I'm just gonna base. Um, I can literally just sell my refillable for... Pickaxe. Thing is, if I stay here to try and shove another wave, I don't know that we have prio, right? So I don't know when the next time I'm actually gonna get the bases. So, we'll just back at the refillable, since we ended up not needing to get into lane to get that farm anyway. And we'll arrive into lane with this bar spike. Yeah, so one key difference that has just happened to happen in this game is that we didn't really get any kills from them. We got... Like, we harassed them out of lane so many times, but we never actually killed them, so we didn't have a massive, like, or tremendous lead, you know? Not an unsurmountable one. Ooh. Now that is really good. There we go. Huge Volkos. Huge. That's what we need to keep doing. Yeah, I get This matchup has suddenly become dramatically better ever since Volkos hit 6, though, I gotta say. God. He's just putting in all the work. I'll drop in a... Drop in a... Drop him a wall played. Yeah, the level that other fight is uh or in general fights are like harder than they were in the previous game partially just because we never actually got any kills early on so we for sure set them behind by like setting her so far behind in farm at least initially but we never set ourselves ahead you know which is a pretty key difference oh that's well who would have thunk that he was just getting baited huh that's why i didn't want to chase Oh wow, our team is doing terrible. Then they would see that I can show them a better way. Actually, I gotta not do that. Last time I did that, that's when they all end us and beat us. I gotta make sure I'm using E defensively only, not to get in range for Q. Hello, Warwick. For a second there, I thought he was here just to tax my cannon. No, he only taxed my caster. Oh my lord, Valkaz. Come on. Just barely didn't get her. We just barely didn't get Nala either. Okay, we get that though. Damn it. Really should have hit that W on Nyla, my bad. Who was that, Nyla? Ooh, she's... What the hell is she doing this for? Do I lose this? No. Let's go. Bro, like, there's no point staying there on that HP just to farm golems. Like, just base at that point. What the hell? I was trying to cancel her base to like delay her getting into lane, but she was she was delaying her own base by doing the golems, you know? Like what a waste of time. It's a good day 
Oh, she already had the Hydra as well. I didn't even notice she had that power spike. I might be being greedy if I shove another wave here, but I mean, Nella's dead, so she wouldn't be able to punish, but uh, what the hell? What? I didn't see her in time where I would have 1v1 her. That's so annoying. I didn't see her until she damaged me. That's so annoying, man. My bad. Blows. She really didn't expect me to have ult there. I don't think she had her ult because she just recently killed Victor. Oh, well. It's annoying because that's the kind of play you can only get away with against the YouTuber who's busy focusing on the commentary. It's not like I was alt tabbed or window shopping or anything. I was literally just... had my screen right on myself. I should have seen her, I just didn't see her, you know? Should have, but didn't. So they could be trying to flank me. They might have been, I'm not sure. Did she get a big shutdown for me anyway? I don't think she did. So we're gonna slow push this wave and then also crash, like, parts of this next one. Slow pushing the first ones just so we can uh, go for this next wave as well without being too overextended in the process. This is also going to give us a lot of time because uh, we've stacked up a big wave for them to farm now. Going to give us a lot of time to rotate towards mid lane. And just try and pressure 3v1. Which if we're lucky might even result in a kill. Although I don't have ult so it's not the easiest kink to force. I think she also had vision and saw us coming. Yeah, definitely had vision. Either way, we don't have a turret to protect bots, so... Oh! My Q didn't go off in time. I don't want to dive in with ult there. Oh god, hello. I need to flash up. Fucking Velveth, man. Ooh, nice one. Oh, I got the Lulu. I was only trying to follow up on the Orianna. Hmm. Fucking voidlings, man. In the way of my W. Oh well, I still got her. Wow, what is going on here? Do we have an AFK? I think we have an AFK. No, we don't. Okay. He's just really behind. I can't do anything about this Yorick either, is the worst part. I don't think so, anyway. Wow, what is this us there? And they just used Herald on mid lane. Ugh, this is rough. Okay, we saved the inhib. But they got two turrets on mid lane. God damn it. It's a rough game. Now we'll do um the guys that we can we can also do a long sword, which is just gonna be more AD. Is that Nyla? Yeah. Hopefully we can get her here. Oh god. Got him. Nice one. Even though she had her dodge thingy up, I still would have finished her off with my W. I don't know. gonna keep pushing. Not too much use if, if I were to break out right now anyway. In fact, maybe? Mm, can I get this turret? Nah, Nala's gonna be up in time. I'll just recall. 
Like Nala by herself, probably not too big an issue if she doesn't have Lulu supporting her, but I don't want to get collapsed on by her team as well. <coughs> that is a very tanky Yorick build. I've seen Frozen Heart second on Yorick, I don't think. When do these Voidling thingies run out, man? Do we need to kill her to get the evolve off of her? This keeps spawning out of nowhere. Oh boy. Okay, huge shutdown. And we get her without using ult. Maybe I can do something to York here. Oh no, he's about to get the inhib just by ignoring. Or actually, wow, he just sort of kills Ringer either way. Doesn't matter how he plays that, he's still getting an inhib. But I should hopefully be able to kill him here, that would be nice. I fucked up already. I'm just gonna pop the cleanse to remove the slow. Please, can he die? Yes! There we go, holy crap. That wasn't even that big a shutdown, man. He's like he's like such a monster, I feel like there should have been a bigger shutdown there. With how far behind our team is, but it will. Either way, I get this, and probably looking at a Lord Dominic's third item game, honestly. So we'll wait for the Lost Whisper. There we go. That Yurik has got so much armor, Lord Dominic's is going to be a lot better than Collector here. We're also looking at a Tabi's on Belveth. So there's going to be a bit of a delay compared to just upgrading this Reddit Dirk. It's going to be a uh, delay to evolve as well, but uh, by the time we get that Lord Dominic's, we're going to be in a much better spot to try and carry this game. I'm predicting this is probably going to be a loss, honestly. It's really hard to carry a game like this, but I will try my best. It is poor Volkus' promos as well. He's 1-0. Oh boy, I was just about to get a free Baron. Nothing I can do there. Well, that blows. I don't think we, they should have uh, been able to get that. Gotta be careful here, I don't have ult. Mm. There was no reason to fight there. So I kinda need to deal with these top lane waves, but we also need somebody at least dealing with Yorick and I'm, I'm the like strongest person to be able to have a chance at killing him. Definitely at least need the team to not ignore him. Hopefully they should have enough numbers to stop him from taking another turret there. I'll try and join them after this wave. This wave was still too close to the turret for me to leave comfortably. Okay, here we go. Got 600 gold left until... Or 500 gold left. No, 600 until our Dominic's. We're gonna have to give up that Drake. God damn it. Why is she even here? She should be going for Drake. I was about to type give up Drake, but they're actually just pushing. I could have died there if I was typing. Thankfully, I hadn't really started yet. This Rengar's blind, I think. I don't think he beats- oh, cut it. I don't think he beats Spellveth, but maybe we can get a fight here, though. That would be really cool. Nice one, okay. Close, okay, nice. I even got the kill there, got them. But Yorick, Yorick, we gotta deal with Yorick. Oh, and Belveth, what the hell? Oh, Ring Girl ulted away and ran and she just kept on pushing, Jesus Christ. We're gonna lose this game to split push. It's the most annoying way to lose a game, man. Oh my god, I can't. I don't even have time to grid my E here. Ah, damn it. Okay, Jesus. I'm gonna grid my E. What is this healing, bro? Are they gonna end here? Jesus Christ. I don't understand how this Belveth doesn't ever run out of those Voidling things. 
just constantly had those up. Does she just keep resetting them? I think she does. She initially had one from Harold, then the Baron, then I don't know what else. My god, this is such a stupid game. I have two stupid champs that, it, like, to have combined between Velveth and Yorick. Jesus Christ. 99% of uh, team comps would not have just taken down the Nexus turrets the way they did. And so many inhibs as well. Oh, fuck me. Okay, this is gonna be a tough one. We'll f uh, I guess we can just finish off Collector here now. This place is beautiful. Your is so for now, at least Bovath, I assume, doesn't get to keep spawning those Voidlings. His super waves are already bad enough, though. Hello, what the hell? Damn it, I got dragged in. Do I still win it? Oh, thank god, just barely. Jesus. That was a risk. I was uh, banking on being able to dash out of her ultimate there. Uh, you guys need to run. They better... Mm, they just got caught after I made a pick. That's so annoying. I need to recover my HP. I'm gonna sell Durn's Blade for Vamp Scepter. I think Bloodthirster Hero is going to be the move. He might be dead here. Did I just miss my W? No, okay, I hit him. Okay, we got one and hit back up. I'm sad I didn't get more there though, I was really close. Don't really have ult. Does Warwick have ult? No. If he were to engage, he would be so far ahead of me as the issue here. I don't think I need to care too much if I get Orion ulted, or at least one day we're three. Oh, they're four. Maybe it's a different issue. Is a red buff even up? They've had so much map control. Yeah, it is. Could go to Warwick. I wouldn't mind too much, but I, also, I, I would still rather take it for myself. Red buff is half gone anyway, but I don't know if I'll even have a chance to even hit anybody with it anyway, during that duration. Do I finally get a turret here? I don't care too much about this bounty for myself, but it could be pretty huge for the team. Hell, bro, I just lost so much HP to those things. I'm so tempted to hold 10 there, but it would be far too risky. Don't let them get another free Baron. I'm going for it. At least for some damage. Can we bait up a good fight here? This thing is in my way. Come on. No, I'm trapped. God damn it. Damn it! That's so sad that I got trapped in the York box right as he died, man. Oh, Lord. Ah, Valkyrs didn't get to ult either. I think they just stand here, right? Unless by some miracle this spawns in time. Yeah, they just stand. Oh, man. What a tragic way to lose this game. We're so close, man. So close. All I needed was to get to Orianna faster, man. I suppose I should have just abandoned it and just recalled. I was just so tilted because I knew I could do so much more there if I hadn't been trapped by Yorick in his dying breath. God. No flash either. Ugh, so frustrating. Then I'll see you guys in the next game. Alright gamers, we're back for game number two. This time around the matchup is going to be Kaisa and Blitzcrank into Jin and Senna, which is a really, really good matchup. Uh, Senna especially is like really long ranged, which is going to be hard countered by Blitzcrank because once, obviously once we close the gap onto them, that range advantage doesn't matter at all. And Senna is really, really squishy once you actually close the gap. And Blitzcrank of course just has the best gap closer of any champion, which is bringing that champion to you. 
Uh, he also synergizes with Kai'Sa by giving him more passive stack, giving her more passive stacks. Sorry, applying two passive stacks onto each target that he hooks. Basically, whenever he knocks them up. So we're gonna be very bursty. Also gonna have the tools to beat exactly uh, what this enemy bot lane does. Oh, okay. I'm gonna pop the ghost here. And we're just gonna try and do a very early all in here. There we go. Late heal from the Jin. She would have died anyway, though. Maybe we can also go Jin now. Okay. Ooh, nice try. Okay, that was uh, smartly played from the Blitz. As soon as he ignited her, I was like, oh, she is actually so overextended here. We could probably actually kill her, even though Blitz hook is on cooldown. That's only thanks to the Ghost, though. Like, if not for the Ghost, that would have been a decent trade. But the Ghost really turned that into an, oh, shit, wait, Senna's actually dead here. I guess I'll level W here in case he lands another hook. We can maybe turn that into another kill. Here we go. That's just brutal. <laughs> Holy crap. The, the, that was very greedy positioning from Senna though. Either that or trolling, I'm not sure. Um, We can go ahead and base here. I've already got enough for her. It's ready to dirk anyway. <clears throat> now I want Bliss actually to base in front of me if possible. Mm, we could we could try thing is decent chance that this just ends up taking forever just to not result in a kill it would be a decent play i think if this wave was pushing towards here where the play happens sooner and we find out sooner whether it's going to work or not but here it's not frozen but it is going to take ages for the play to actually be viable if they don't you know just randomly walk up into melee range of the minions for some reason it needs to feed This could be a very good gank opportunity for Maka. They haven't had a chance to place a trinket yet. We're just gonna use this wave here. I think we're getting a little bit unlucky and Senna's just taking the long way around to place a ward, but Jin is getting impatient here. He's gonna die. There we go. Quick assist there from the, for the Maokai. And an easy kill for me. I don't want to base here, and it would take ages to crash this wave to rest the turret, so I honestly would have preferred the freeze. Not possible now, thanks to Blitzcrank's efforts, but it's not that big a deal. Um, I guess I can just base here for double longsword. That's fine. I was going to say I don't actually have that much gold that I want to spend, but actually I suppose once we finish crashing this wave, it is enough for either pickaxe or double longsword, either which, either which is good. Either one of which, that's what I was trying to say. This could have actually been a, probably a better chance to do that cheese than he wanted to do though. Nah, once again though, actually the wave just takes too long to die under turret, so... Mm, nah, it still would have been possible though, like right now we would have actually had a kill. Jin is just leaving himself wide open to a hook there. But oh well. Nice one. Good counter gank. Both junglers are taking forever to base. Okay, this is good. Don't need to pop the ghost. There we go. Yeah, this Blitzcrank is just playing very well into a matchup that is already like really Blitzcrank favored. So this is just the outcome you see. The only thing I did in particular, like, uh, was just popping my ghost on the level one. That's really the hardest thing that I needed to do to get kills in this lane. The rest is all Blitz. I'm basically one level and 400 gold away from getting my Q evolve. 
I just need Moon Quiver. We can honestly uh, probably burst that guy down. We'll, pro we'll basically one-shot anybody who gets hooked by Blitz if we get an isolated Kaiseki one to them. Okay, we just replace the vision. I don't have W this time though, so this is maybe not going to be a kill. Yeah, he's got flash up as well. We'll just maximize the damage we deal, and we back off. After I've hit my fifth passive, at that point the trade is not too favorable to continue 1v2. So I just disengage at that point, even if they walk forwards. We'll look to crash this wave. If we crash this fast enough, they're going to be without minion cover under threat for quite a while. Which Blitz loves. Like, he doesn't even mind the enemies being under threat too much since he can hook them so easily. That route is a bit of a delay, though. Got him. Ooh, he did not need to ult, though. What a wall. Let's get that plating. Solo plating. Awesome. I'm just gonna shove this wave because I can. Hmm, that freeze is not ideal, but I can't really prevent it by myself. Should have punished this by Blitz cancelling his base to Hooker. Forgiveness is hard. So anyway, I got my... Q evolve now, at least. I need to gather my strength. Don't mind if I do, my 5 gold. This reason doesn't matter too much anyway. No matter how bad the wave state is, we can always just easily fix it with how ahead we are. At most it just cost me a little bit of farm. Which I don't have to care too much about. We'll just let them have to push forwards here eventually. Blitz will end the hook. Or, mm, I wouldn't go for the Hex Flash. Okay, this works fine as well, I guess. Even if she has Flash, she's still dead there. <laughs> nice one. So now we're just going to do the same thing again. We're going to remove the minion cover, crash this ASAP. Jin either has to give up the entire wave or he's going to get hooked. Granted, I maybe did this a bit too early since I don't know if Blitz even has hook up yet. There we go. Ow. That's fine. Got them Senol delayed the kill enough that I took two tower shots. Another solo plating. I'll just pop in another potion because you never know what might happen here. Like, uh, like it, I might get ganked by like some sort of snake champion from the mid lane or something like that. This game can be really unpredictable sometimes. Yeah, again, the wave state is shit, but it's whatever. Now we'll go for Kraken Slayer here. Yeah, this is fine. Longsword would have been fine to purchase there as well, but I figure I've already got enough AD. Ooh, damn. I'm just gonna go for the strategy once again of oh removing their minion cover from the threat. Oh, Do I have to hold for this. I honestly don't mind Blitz getting the call. Okay. Oh, did he just flash? I hope not. But I think he just flashed. Oh well. Bear in mind, we're this massively ahead, and at this point, I didn't quite catch how much gold I got from Jin, but it can't be that much gold we're getting, right? So it becomes less and less worth to invest like big cooldowns into 
further kills. Like, I definitely would never flash for that. And ideally, I would have preferred to avoid ulting, even if it meant only getting an assist. He can still walk up and knock her up, and we'll still one-shot her. Doesn't even knock her up. Ooh, god, he might be dead here. Yeah, he's dead here. Damn. Unfortunate. Did he even use his last shot? I don't think he did. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't just knock her up with E, though. That would have been a faster kill. Ah, oh, crashed us too fast. I didn't think Malkai would be coming. Ow. He went intargetable with his W. Alright, I've got <laughs> Ghost and Flash up if I need it. Only person that could gank me right now is Silas. And he's topside, so we're all good. I'm just gonna get this other plating as well. <laughs> we'll play that extra safe. Damn it, do I at least get the plating if it falls now? Did it fall? It must have. Yeah, I don't think I got the gold. Oh well. Okay. And we avoid handing over a... 1000 gold shot down to center there. Because we didn't flash for the gin earlier. Although, but there was never going to be any need to flash for the gin. But you, see, you know what I mean. Like, the more fed you are, the more... Worth it becomes to just save cooldowns for defensive purposes. Didn't even have the ghost, so I still have ghosts available at least. I've got uh, a little follow up here. It's gonna take my wallet. I'm gonna ghost in though. There we go. Awesome. Hopefully, I won't regret using that ghost since now I don't have that available for defensive purposes when I also don't have flash up. Like, arguably, I'm gonna... It, it's possible that was a bad move, because there's a decent chance I may end up regretting doing that at some point, but we'll see. If I don't end up needing ghosts to survive anyway, then it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Nice one. The last hit from him was a bit overkill. He risked dealing the kill with that, but it worked out. Hoo hoo, close one. Let me see if I can just dive her like this anyway. Nice! The Bliss Crankled set that up. Perfect. And we have Maokai backing us up here, so we don't need to even back off. Although it is an awkward wait waiting for the wave. Let's... Oh, good. Actually, I should have saved that because my ult is coming up soon anyway. I might have wanted to make a play with that. Probably not, though. But you never know. I'm just gonna hold on to a dagger just in case it eventually ends up getting me E-Evolve. Because I probably won't need the base until Collector anyway. But in like two level ups I might get E-Evolve off of just a random dagger. Oh, oh. What was that about? Good here. <laughs> oh, 
Ooh. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> that's cute. Not bad. <laughs> Just Kai'Sa, dude. I'm not even, like, doing anything that special this game. This is mostly on Blitz. There we go. We gave him the credit he deserves. <clears throat> yes, I mean, I could base right now for, like, pickaxe if I hadn't got the dagger, but I just don't see the point. And I can just so easily stand all collector. Probably just grab raptors and then recall for collector. In fact, this also saves us um, needing level 14 for our evolve. That's perfect. Stay alert. Stay aggressive. There we go. Damn it. Oh boy. I can easily take on this Lawi, but I guess I'll settle for Senna. There we go. I guess I must have accidentally dodged her because I never ended up getting hit by that. I never saw her cast it. Ooh. He's all good. What about the Salus? Is he not pushing another wave? I'll just push a wave then. Push two waves even. I think I'll try out the Phantom Dance for Fourth Adam here. I could easily just sell the dagger. The dagger isn't forcing me to do it. But. But I do feel like I should at least try it out. I don't think I've tried it out on this build yet. Maybe I'll hit that Phantom Dance Prospect and be like, wow, this amount of attack speed is crazy on this build. I need to be very careful there. Castle is the only thing that can shut me down. There we go. Huge. Definitely, I don't think Lord Dominic is going to be necessary this game, so we'll go Phantom Dancer into probably Bloodthirster. Nice and Makai. <laughs> Collector is so nice. God, I'm ending up with overkill a minute, Jesus Christ. That's it gonna be probably the end of the game. Never got to try out the Phantom Dancer then, but it will. How did she not die there? There we go. Ow, that got me. I'm dead now, probably. Or am I? I'm on the ghost, save me, save me. Not even close, holy crap. If she had Leandris, I would have been dead there, certainly. There we go. Shield saves me! Barely! No! No! My deathless game! Fuck. Did not see that Jin ult plus an ult combo coming. Oh well. We've had basically no, well, we've had like very little downtime this game because of no deaths and now suddenly it's this very awkward space where I can't do anything. Oh well.
If we had Vamp Scepter, I would have been fine. We should probably just do Baron here. No point dragging this game out. Nice one. <laughs> Fair enough. Ooh. Oh, how did he kill still that? Damn it. Missed everybody. Oh my gosh, he does so much damage. Let me life still. Almost got her. Very risky. Almost had my second death there, but it all pays off. Pretty good game there. That's the power of Kaiso Blitz. Let's move on to the next game. Yo, what I what up, gamers? We are back for game number eight. This time we're going to be playing Kaisa and Tanami against Caitlyn and Sana. So, one of the toughest matchups we've had today, probably so far, I would say. Uh, since they're double, like, really long range. I think the closest matchup we had to this so far was, like, Senna Gen. Uh, when we had something else, though. No, no, no. Oh, that was when we had the Bliss Crank. So we had a direct counter to the, like, ranged bot lane. This time they have even more range with the Caitlyn paired with the Senna instead of the Jin. And we have much weaker engage. All we have is the Nami bubble. So at least we have some sustain to try and deal with our poke, but at the same time, we're not really going to be beating them unless we can close that gap. So if I was this Caitlyn, what I would be doing is rushing Berserkers, and it's smart that she's got Ghost as well, because that's also going to help her disengage whenever she finds herself in a bad spot. It's not how you want to trade her Nami, because they're going to be hitting level 2 soon. Okay, we're going to go for the E second here because we're probably going to be playing a bit more on the defensive side here. No point going W for trades that we're never going to take. Nice, we just barely managed to get some use out of the Nami E there before it runs out. So we're not doing too bad so far. We definitely should be doing a better job of abusing their range advantage. But I wouldn't get too much opportunities to poke with a W, just be purely because they constantly have the... have prowl, so they're hiding behind minions all the time. Damn it. Walk all the way around the minute so I can't get that last hit. That's so annoying. Oh, that fucked very fast. Mm, she can be dead there. Mm. Unfortunate. I swear to god, that was a very fast proc on that trap. I'm probably gonna have to base here. As much as I hate basing on a cannon wave like this. It's just not gonna be smart to stay in lane there when I'm this slow. They could easily turn that into a dive. I guess Kellum maybe didn't want to dive though. Yeah, I think she was just going for platings. 
Oh well. At least the navy is doing well so far. That's good. So we want to just basically hang in here until we got until we get some form of opportunity to get a lead. Mainly going to be relying on hopefully Maokai ganks. Just a shame that we could we died before we could get a gank. Pretty normal though since he did star bot side. So would have needed to reset first before we could get a gank from him. I'm just going to be slow pushing here. What I want to do here is want to stack up such a big wave here that they won't be able to trade against us. And we'll just be able to leverage that into getting three free mini waves, including the one we just got. And then after those three waves, we can try and base and match their items that they have from getting a kill. My bad, I should have hit that. Yeah, you're kidding me. Wait, this... Oh, Nami had Ignite the whole time. That was... Hmm, pretty poorly played from her overall, but... Might still result in a double? Yeah, she could have Ignited Kaelin way sooner. What the hell, man? Oh, well. Such awkward base. Maybe I should have gone for Boots here. I do want to get an early Berserkers. Yeah, that was my bad. If I'd hit that W, that trade would have been a lot cleaner. You can see that because they were trading into such a massive wave... It went, didn't go as well as it could have for them, despite the item lead. For sure, Senna would have died there if I hit that W, so that would have been a double for Nami. Ideally, I would have preferred to have a kill there myself as well. But oh well. Gotta go ward. I believe we just saw Fiddlestick spot side, didn't we? I want to place... Oh, he's on the Drake. Okay. I'll just place a trinket there so we get vision if he tries that again. So Senna never actually based. I don't know why. She's uh, going to end up landing on quite low HP here. Hopefully we can abuse that. I'll place a trinket there so we can see her if she... Tries to trade from there. Oh man, I hope they win a fight there. Because this is such a wasted opportunity not fighting the enemy bot lane here or ganking them with Senna solo. I don't currently have ult. Also, don't want to give up a free wave here when I'm already so far behind in XP. So even if they went for that gank, I probably would have just ignored it. Yeah, if they want to get the Drake, that's fine. Trick is that mountain start. Will give me a little bit more resistances to try and survive this lane with. Wouldn't be too bad. Ocean would be even better. Sustain is what I could really do with. But I'll take what I can get, really. I'm also catching up slightly here in XP, because I'm getting solo XP. So me and Killen should be hitting level 6 at pretty similar timings in the end, even though she started off with an XP lead. Yeah, she's only like a few melee minions ahead in terms of XP, I think. Actually, literally just like two melee minions ahead. She hit uh, level 6 off of one melee minion, and I'm hitting it off of three. So definitely help me catch up a little bit. So we're going to slow push uh, this wave, and then we're going to hard crash the next one. Oh, I've already got plenty of ult to base on. I just want to make sure we get a good crash that they can't make me miss farm with. Oh, hello. Wait, is she actually alone here? What is she doing? Do we get vision of her with the W? Okay. Shit. Thank you. Well, that was a really unexpected play from them. What the hell? Like, she came so close to dying. If she'd been hit by the bubble, she was fucked. 
Actually, I should have stayed there. I could probably just ult in as soon as Mach I CC'd someone. I'll just go for Berserkers here. But also, again, like if Nami had ult, uh, sorry, had Ignite there, big mistake from her not to use that when we very clearly nearly had a kill on Senna. Okay, I'm nearly. I'm ne or rather, I'm nearly in range to actually ult here. Makai should just come uh, come around for another gank. I'm just gonna go directly on Senna. <laughs> That's fairly unfortunate. Okay, we could definitely dive Kate though. I uh, didn't mean to do all cups there, but I suppose I guess the message across better. Come on, Makai. There's no Drake to get. Just dive her. Just dive her. You know you want to, man. Bro. Wasted opportunity if we don't. I mean, we could probably execute the dive as two as well. That's how we go for it. Whoa! Okay, we burnt one flash. Really annoying though. The jungler that couldn't execute a dive is the one that comes bot. Just to protect the dive. Maybe I just gank the cast it in here. It's either that or I recall here. This sucks. Okay, at least the turret lives. It's so awkward having the enemy hurled to run down in the lane when you have to recall so you can't defend it. I shouldn't running, but. Oh, come on, I can't cancel a recall. Okay, she does get a recall cancelled though, but it cost me all my fucking HP. Really annoying. On the bright side, she's low on mana. And yeah, she's fucking dead here. I kept cancelling models there. Let me get the call. Damn it! Oh, I got nothing, man. This is so sad. I'd like to have another wave here. Okay. I mean, at least we're like, you know, getting through this lane, which is a bad lane for us. Um, without like falling too behind. In fact, maybe I have a sort of lead because I at least I have four assists. But if I had kills here, that would be so much better. <coughs> I'm just gonna hope that even after nerfs, Makai is still broken enough that he can make good use of these kills to carry. I like it here. I just want to stay. And a ghost on her. Actually, this was a bad place to. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bad place to ult because I would prefer to keep the isolated Q on her, obviously, if possible. So I should have um, ulted a... Even if it was like um, in a direction where she could more easily escape, she wasn't going to escape either way, so I should ult further away from the minions to keep her isolated. Okay, one of them is the real one. Oh, what the fuck? I get aggro from that. There's no way he ulted just to clear the wave, right? No way he's that much of a psychopath. It was like a three minion wave. This could be a good dive. Damn it, no kill for me again. <laughs> oh, the one kill that I got this game was just 1v1 and Caitlyn right there. Oh, 
Didn't mean to be envisioned there. Oh. Uh? There's no way. Finally, I got a kill. Let's go. This guy's making zero attempts to try and leave kills for people. At least me. Oh, he has no idea. Oh god. Damn it! God, that blows. I couldn't just run in a straight line away because then she just ults me. Okay, we'll play it from her. Ooh, Chanel. I hope that wasn't up the whole time. Oh god, triple for her. That's a disaster. Yeah, that go for us was uh, the thing that I couldn't account for there. Or didn't account for. I guess I'll go top, actually. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Drake is enough for another three minutes. We either lose bot tower if I abandon bot, or we lose top for it, so... I think I'm just gonna go top. Ball interrupt is gonna go down soon anyway. You're kidding me. Who the fuck blue trinkets there? Need Nami to come here as well. I will make a difference. This is why I need Nami to come here as well. Oh, for fuck's sake, I can ult away. She takes ages to get here though. Okay, I did what I could. Kill sticks. <laughs> this could be an easy kill. He's just got no Zanis yet, right? Yeah, perfect. In fact, the other one was stopwatch, so definitely not. Oh, Overall, dealing a lot of damage to this turret, we get. The whole turret, we get a lot of free waves. Basically, we trade turret for turret when our ball and turret was gonna go down. No matter what, pretty much, very soon. So many blue trinkets, man. And for what? Hopefully, we get top lane in time to defend this turret as well. Maka's making the right call here, just rushing top, because we know they just want to try and rush this turret down, right? If he ganks immediately, that's gonna be huge. Not wasting time on camps. They're not even going for it immediately, though. They might have had vision of him coming, potentially. Okay, we see Senna at least mid, and Kaelin. Do I want to keep pushing here? Uh, seems like there's going to be a fight. I'll pop the ghost here. Got her. 600 gold shot down for me, let's go. Really, cast? Was that the move there? Was that the- Oh, Unlucky. Nice. Start off with one auto. And wait for the Q to come up before ulting in. No point to ulting for that second auto before we got the Q up because he's gonna have time to react. And get away. But if we land the one auto, we know that no matter how much distance he puts between us, there's no way he puts enough to not get ulted on before we have queue up.
I'll go for that soon. I just should base for Navori first. Hello. Stay alert. Stay aggressive. I think we'll go for Phantom Dancer here. Probably being greedy just stopping by the red buff before the mid lane fight, but. Nice one. I couldn't tell which was the real one. I suppose I should have known it was the low HP one. You should be fine, right? Wow, that was a close one. Do you think they have vision? I have ult in 10. Would be risky to go in here. Damn it. I don't know that sun isn't there. Yep, there we go. Okay, I should win this. Really should have played it safe and just flashed the kill and queue, but... Works out. I don't know if it's even worth turning around for the CS, by the way. Well, I guess I can... I was gonna say four more lost hits, but I guess three more. Really? Yeah, Baron is good here. It's just crazy how good a power spike Navori is, man. Absolutely insane. I think we could have finished that. Dead. Okay. Do we try again now? Yes, we do. So I'm preserving mana this time around. I want to save my Q. My Q's uh, all the ones that I can cast with this mana for the actual fight. My team are pussies, though. I'm gonna pop Ghost. Whoa, I can actually alter without vision. What? Huh, that's weird. Oh, God. Jesus. Okay, that was the one guy I didn't want to run into. Okay, not bad, not bad. We try again. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Perfect. So, I would say our choices here are either Bloodthirster or Lord Dominix. Um, if their team had a bit more armor, or if Tom Kench were a bit tankier or a bit more ahead, I would go for Lord Dominix. But I'm thinking Bloodthirster should be good here. It's only because it got buffed on this patch, though. Like, it feels really good on this patch. It's just so cheap compared to before. 100 gold doesn't sound like a huge difference, but it really is. I don't mind getting hit by that, I guess. I'll recover the HP anyway. It's a good day for a hunt. <laughs> what? Holy crap. The full like an uh, a collector executes somehow. But I don't have it. I'm going for it. So close. When auto got cancelled by the fear. There we go. Damn minion. Alright, get me out of here. Let's get the strike. Perfect. 
Oh, base for, I guess, BF Sword. Should be better than Crit Cloak, I believe, despite having Navori. Could also go for Vamp Scepter, but I don't really particularly need defensive stats this game. It's more like, I may as well just get it. Because damage increase isn't that all that necessary either. I'll just go for the Raptors while I'm waiting for Red to spawn. Down there, I was surrounded by nothing. But I was never alone. Memories come from like Can I get him? Dead. Come on. Never mind, not that. Flash for ult though, I will take that trade. Damn it. I'm good. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Got him. I'm gonna hit everything that I can with auto so I can life steal up a bit. Because if I Q the wave, the wave is gonna die instantly and not give me anything to life steal off of. Bro, what is this auto attack sound animation? Oh no. Ult in 10, I can maybe try and make a play then. Do you think they have vision here? Your team has destroyed a turret. Uh, Kalen will be trying to push. Not to push, sorry, to defend against my team's push. I guess I'll just get the inhib. They didn't expect me to stay, I guess. I could try and end here, but that would be so boring, you know? I'm gonna join the fight, not even gonna go kill Fiddle. I just wanna kill people. Multitudes of people. God damn this Gromp in the way. Damn it, damn it. No! If you didn't flash on me, I might have lived. I'm not sure. Damn it, I'd uh, wasted a lot of time there trying to kill Senna. Probably shouldn't have Eid. Oh well. Anyway, now I got the Blood Test released. Next item will be Boss Whisper. I don't know if the Crick Cloak is worth selling Doran's Blade for though, so I'm just gonna hold on to Doran's Blade until I can get Lost Whisper. Got her, got her. What about him? Do I got him? I got him, I got him. Beautiful. Scott, I love a late game Kaisa. Unpatch 13.1b.
<laughs> Is he AFK? No, he does take damage. Oh, she nearly died to my Q. <laughs> oh, well. GG. I think we'll do one more game, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, yo, what up, gamers? We're back for game number three. I don't know what the hell this is doing. I thought he was... I thought there was going to be an invade, but... Hey, yo, Zach, come here. Get, get an assist. Jana, hit him. All right, here we go. Thank you. Okay, so this game, the matchup is going to be... Kaisa with Janna into Jin and Karma. Uh, it's a pretty rough matchup, so I guess it's uh, not the worst game to start off with a kill lead. Since they're gonna be outranging me pretty hard. Karma also has a pretty good early game, while Janna is kind of a scaling pick. But mainly this is the kind of matchup where I would want some form of engage in order to uh, be able to fight back some sort of all in. John is not really a good enabler at uh, letting people all in. She can, you know, land a tornado, but it's not a very good engage, especially because it's quite unreliable. Oh, and I misclicked there. <laughs> but, you know, we'll do what we can, and probably at least we'll get the benefit of outscaling. Definitely we'll get the benefit of outscaling, so... We'll do our best to fight back, but if we find ourselves in a losing position, that's fine. We don't need to win this lane, we just need to focus on getting through it with as little of a deficit as possible, and then try and be more impactful in the mid to late game. Damn it. The caster was very awkwardly positioned. Look at where the rest of the casters are. That one was just being annoying for zero reason. Yeah, pretty inevitable. Oh wow, nice. That was a nice trick though. Yeah, I couldn't really dodge that Gen W when I pressed up against the wall. Thankfully the Jana Shield made it. Not a bad trade. I don't necessarily want to keep pushing here, actually. Don't even know where Grave started. So I don't know if he's going to be bought anytime soon or not. Neither of us have a trinket, so ideally we should let them push us in. Which means this tornado is very, very bad on top of the fact that I just stole my last hit. Okay, we see Grave's top though, that's fine. What is she gonna go ward for? Hmm. Ow. Can we pop the ghost here? We can go really hard now. Okay, Jin flashes away. I'm, I'll just go in Karma instead then, I guess. Okay, we got one kill, do we get two? We do get two. Huge. Oh, that's a lethal tempo, Jin. What the hell? I only just noticed that. Uh, we can leave the wave for actually. We can leave it here. It's gonna push towards us. I hope. I mean, all of these minions are so low, but I'm assuming it still does. Yeah, it's also on this side of the map. It should be more than good. Huge, huge, huge. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, we'll get double potion. Why not? Just make sure we can stay in this. Big overextension from them there. Oh, wow, that's that's a tilter. Does Trinimer maybe get his dash in time? Oh, but he didn't get in range. But he has more movement speed. Nice one. Okay. It's a shame he had to die for it, but it will. Oh, wow, this actually pushed a lot harder than I expected it. They're still really good for us, though. I missed the cannon, but it will. Overall, they missed a whole lot more farm, which is the important thing. It's a nice game for us to... Recall there. So the main reason I prefer doing that over... Uh, trying to crash the wave is that we don't necessarily crash it in time to make them miss farm. Whereas if we leave the wave frozen, their wave is inevitably going to kill a lot of theirs. And cause them to miss farm that way. And plus, uh, as you can see, another advantage is when they get into lane, they're already overextended. 
like they're overextended by default. If the jungler is smart, as Zach was in this situation, he notices, wow, they are already gankable. I'm just gonna they only just got into lane, but I'm gonna already gank them. If we cause the reset, that would take a lot more time for the wave to be uh, you know, for to, for the wave to push in a way where they get overextended, and it would also require us to like try and freeze. Whereas here we don't have to do anything. We just get into lane and it's immediately happening. We don't like it doesn't force us to want to not push, which is something you usually want to do if you have the lead. Generally, freezing is more on the defensive side, unless you're freezing so hard or like winning so hard that you can freeze and zone them from XP. Uh, well, I really want to dive. It might be smart because the wit there. Wave is already under turret, but it's such a big wave. Okay, I've cost the karma a lot of HP already. <laughs> okay, nice. That's one dead. What about this? Try and crash this as fast as I can. Oh, that's a fizz. Um. There we go. Awesome. Okay, um... I'll just shove this just to make sure. I don't have mana to shove here, but we should have all the time in the world. Just help me shove, help me shove. I'm pretty sure I don't even need it for the items I want to base for, but better safe than sorry, I guess, since I would have to do the math and I can't be bothered. There, my Q only. Helps me collect 130% HP minion, but whatever. Yeah, that should be Zack surviving. Kill cool for them. Nice one. Yeah, I had more than enough gold for the evolve. That's fine. I was get a dagger. As well. <coughs> Which I already would have had either way. Still, at least this guarantees that I get the cannon. That's the one uh, upside of that, is that if I left it um, pushing towards us, I mean, probably both of us would have missed the cannon. But this way, I get the cannon and he doesn't. Reminds me of home. That's an advantage. Because if this is roaming down here again... Do you think he's trolling? Because that gank didn't seem like trolling. But he is doing pretty bad. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he DC'd in the level 1. Who knows? But for now, we're just gonna for Like, this, this is the situation I'm talking about where we're so ahead that we can just freeze and zone them from XP. That's why I'm trying to freeze now. Now that I got the kill evolve, I know I'm just so much stronger than I was. Uh, even just like two minutes ago. Especially once I get ult here. If Jin wants to go for farm here. I want to block his W in case he wants to go for that cannon. If Jin goes for farm, I can just walk up and auto him and then ult onto him, and that should be a call. So even though I'm missing out on platings here, I'm at least causing Jin to miss out on a massive amount of farm. Thing is, I'm just wondering if maybe we could just crash this under Ted and just dive him as well instead. This isn't necessarily the best call. Would be better if Karma was um, not roaming. Because Karma being roaming also means that we could actually technically be diving Jin. But like now I don't know where Karma is. So I don't know whether I actually want to crash this or not. I don't want to set up the dive just to find Karma's there and we can't dive anymore. Because I'll just be handing Jin over a free wave for nothing. So in the meantime I'm just not going to push until I have more information. Yeah, Karma's back. We'll just go on Karma here. I'll pop the Ghost. Should be able to get her and Jin. There we go. Easy. Don't even have to flash. God bless Ghost. There we go. The Freeze puts them in a the ba really bad spot. Well, that was also just Karma playing. Very, like, stupidly trying to contest the award. She should have just let that go. 
But you can see that we have a lot of room to chase them down because of the wave state. Wave position, rather. Now we can actually pressure the turret. I'll even go for one more wave. Why not? Oh shit, I'm really slowed here. Okay. Thankfully I'm not dead. And that's a Graves. Jin is not even level 6 yet. I'm just at level 6. Yeah, okay, I guess uh, he didn't really give me a chance to... ...shove in that wave that I wanted to shove. Oh well. I'll just actually base here. I'm not baiting, I'm, I should actually, actually just spend my gold with how much I've got in my inventory. Yeah, really good base, leaving no gold left over. Currently I don't have ult though, which would probably be what I need to actually chase down Jin here without the ghost. Stay alert. Stay aggressive. All I can do at the moment is walk up and try and trade with him. Again, we'll try and block uh, the cannon lost hit from his W if possible. I think this is probably going to inevitably go to him though. What I can do is I can try and dive him actually. We see Karma mid right now. I've, I've just delayed this just enough that I'll have my ultimate for the dive, so this should be very easily achievable. He still doesn't have a wave either. We'll start the dive off with a W, which is like a channel. I don't want to be channeling an ability under turret while I'm already taking aggro. So we wait to take aggro until the W is done. Especially if the W misses, then that would be terrible to be taking aggro. Just to channel W, just for it to miss, right? So we start the dive off with the W. And he misses out on the wave. Should be a very easy turret here, I think. Everybody's dead. Nobody to come for me. Probably gonna have to wait until the next wave, though. Oh, actually, they're already back. Damn. Okay, nice. Oh, I can't ult now. That's fine. Not a problem. I don't want to risk uh, trying to fight Jin here, though, even if I could, like, tag him with my W to try an all in. Just play it safe. Turret plating will soon fall. An ally has been slain. Ooh. Unlucky. Okay, got my ult back up. I can once again dive Jin if he's gonna be alone. No need to wait this time. Just immediately go for the dive. All I need is Q to be up. And again, we'll just lead with the W. Same strategy. Oh. Okay, no dive this time. He's learned his lesson. Is there a blue up? Can I still have any chance? No. Okay, then we'll just rotate straight to mid. Ooh. Oh, there's a big fight going on already. Damn it. Can't see. There we go. This one kill. Okay, I definitely don't want to risk diving a Darius. Wait, actually, he went so far, I could have just, uh, ulted him. I shouldn't have used Q on Fizz, actually, because he uses Z and dodges it. There we go. Should have gone for Darius. She's dead. Alright, now I'll go my Q up, now I'll commit with the flash. I probably didn't need to play it so safe, actually. I'm sure there's no way he would have killed me there. Oh god, this might be bad, though. Nah, I'm actually just too good. <laughs> this motherfucker denies me the cannon, though. Sad. I 
think I should already have Navori. Yeah. I will make a difference. Just need to shove a wave in base. If somebody was already mid, then I would just let them have the wave. But since I'm alone, it may as well be me that gets the wave. Hmm. I'm just gonna grab a dagger, which I hope in just one level up will give me Eovolve. If it's gonna be awkward though, then it's only gonna be at level 13, so two level ups. Can't remember which it, which level it is. I have a feeling it's gonna be awkward and only be at level 13. Yep. God damn it. 100% out of 100%. Yet no e evolve. I wish they would actually just round up for the actual evolve as well, not just visually. Ah, damn it, if I'd hit that, I would have gone in. Oh well. They didn't virtue Zack. Nice one. Got a lot of healing there. Ooh, right, I got Navori, so I can try and go in again. Didn't hit anyone. Thought I saw a ward there. I will go mid then. Oh, I just really don't get her. Should have fizz though? No, I don't. I'll pop the ghost. Damn it! Yeah, I got the fizz. I definitely can't risk trying to fight Darius right now. I got no mana. Go for the blue though. Trying to cut it around as much as I can so I get the most healing without taking damage in return. There we go. Now mana is not a concern, just HP. I can't risk him flashing on me. He doesn't have a E now at least though. Hmm. Okay, now I've got the E evolve. I'm never going to be confident enough to actually try and do an evolve animation cancel in the middle of combat because I just don't nail it often enough. I think I'll just go for blue again. Gromp is coming up as well. I'll go for, mm, actually, I can leave it for Zach. I can just go for the bot lane with. Just pinging into him that he can go for that. At least the dagger's been a good placeholder. It's uh, like uh, it's not like I could pick up any other components anyway, right? So in the meantime, I've just been playing out like, what, the past five minutes? However long, with a uh, 12% extra attack speed. And it's not gonna delay me getting Collector. Did technically get me my evolve one level earlier, though I don't think I've done anything with it. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and base now. And I think this is just gonna be another game of just doing Blood Thirst of Fourth. Although uh, we could we could also do collect no sorry, not collect the um Phantom then, sir. Nah, nah, honestly, Bloodthirst is just so good right now, I feel like. Let go of the anger. 
The reduced cost really goes hard. We got Evolve now either way. Oh wait, oh no, not yet actually, but uh, we're about to get it as soon as we get level 14. You did not have to do that, buddy. I want to go for one more wave, but yeah, after that, Wishing Baron seems like a good choice. There we go, got the E-Evolve. Failed it again. I should have popped my Ghost, actually. But I have such an increased duration right now that I could just use to chase them down. If he tanks, then yeah, we could probably dive. No, he dropped the aggro! Okay, she's dead. And he's dead, okay. Thank it, thank it. Thank you. <laughs> it was so much faster than him. This Bloodthirst of 4th is technically even better, by the way, if you do Infinity Edge over Navori. Since you're going to be critting harder, you're also going to have like more, even more like 10 AD, which is a little bit of a factor as well. You're generally just going to be doing more auto attack damage, which means more stuff to lie still from. But even if, even when doing Navori, it still feels really good to go Bloodthirst of 4th. If you just, especially if you're really ahead mainly. It's, it's, I wouldn't do it if I'm behind necessarily or if I need more damage. But when you're ahead, and your damage is more than satisfactory, it's just so good at uh, keeping you alive. Making sure you can't be shut down. Can go ahead and base already. Okay, never mind. Wait, is my recall gonna switch the camera? Yeah, it did. <laughs> Alright, cool. On to the next game. Yo, that gamers. We're back for another episode of Kaisa to Diamond. This game, we're gonna be playing... Kaisa. With Shaco into Draven and Sona, which should be a rough matchup because Draven is pretty good in lane. Sona's not so much, but Draven will make up for that. And we don't really have too much synergy with our Shaco support, unfortunately, so not gonna, probably not going to be able to disperse Draven down at any point. Or outrange him for that matter, or poke him out. We'll probably go for the Berserker's Rush. Just so we can be a little bit safer in the lane. Okay, we can't contest the level 2, so we'll just leave this. Let them push it towards us. Gotta give up XP if that's what we need to do. Just wanna avoid taking damage. The only person I could actually trade back against here is Sona. Definitely can't trade against Draven. Wow, that was a huge tar shot on Sona. Use W to be safe there. Mm. Oh well. Okay, not bad. We're about like one set behind Draven if he happens to get these two lost hits, which he should. Okay, we see if I top, don't really need to place a ward right now. We have a level advantage over Draven and the push, so... We can just go ahead and crash this, I think. Or even gank them. Go on, Sona. Nice one, the only person that was killable there. Awesome, really well played. 
Can't believe we get the gank off, get a free kill, and also actually get to crash the wave. That's actually insane. <coughs> so bounce back, man. It's your time to fight back. Tell yourself you will live. Do still have a very slight CS lead, but ooh, nice one. Team doing pretty well so far. I think mainly thanks to Echo, who's already got a lot of co participation. Probably gonna miss out on this cannon, sadly. Yeah. Oh well. So Driven is also running Ghost. Not gonna be able to easily chase him down or get away with him, just get away from him just because of my Ghost. Dead. <laughs> Holy crap, nice one, Chaco. Um, Just leave this pushing towards us, honestly. It's gonna take me forever to push this wave. So I'm not gonna bother. We'll just leave it frozen. This is how we're gonna deny the most farm from Draven. He's gonna miss a ton of XP this way. So what I would like Chaco to do in this situation when I clearly don't need him in this lane playing 1v0 or 2v0 is I would like him to roam it's, good, it's too late now because the nearest place he could roam was mid lane and mid lane just died but in theory there's just no point in him sticking around in lane just soaking up XP ooh I don't know about this I'll pop the ghost nice one he really didn't need to take that kill but there we go. Holy crap, nice one. Now we want to shove, because now I actually have a lot of gold I want to spend. When we killed Driven before, I only had one kill worth of gold, and so the most I could base for was double longsword, which I felt wasn't worth it over just denying as much CS and XP as possible from Draven. Double longsword, you know, assuming I uh, got all those lost hits in those waves, obviously. The, time, the gold that I had at the time was only enough for one longsword even, which was even less worth basing for. I've got Berserker, so I don't have to be too afraid of him. Alright, hopefully it doesn't freeze that. Can't break the freeze. Oh, nice one Echo, <laughs> again. Actually, should have actually tried to help him now that I think about it. Because Driven can rotate over. Ferris as well, apparently. Damn. My bad. Or maybe not. I mean, we were outnumbered, I guess. German could easily just follow me if he saw me going there. <coughs> That was a close one. I will make a difference here. Okay. So in a mid, I currently have not the level leader for Draven. But I do have a massive item lead though. So, oh, he has no mana. He's dead. Well, apparently he has enough mana for two axes, or at least one axe. I couldn't tell how much that was, but. Yeah, item lead is enough. Didn't even have the ult. And he didn't have mana for his ult. By the way, fun fact, right before this game I had to do my first dodge because of the enemies picking Kaisa. It's the first time all series that she's been picked or banned. I had to dodge because of it. I'm surprised it took this long. 
It's not like Kaisa's unpopular. I think what I'll aim for here is uh, double pickaxe for an early kill evolve without going for Serrated Dirk. I feel like Serrated Dirk is less worth if you're rushing Berserkers anyway, because double pickaxe will get you the evolve for actually even cheaper than Serrated Dirk does. I guess if, assuming I've got this right. I do need, I think, one level up before that becomes the case. We'll see. If it's if it turns out that it's only level 9 that I get Q evolve with double pickaxe, then maybe Sweater Dirk is worth. We'll pop the ghost. Oh, he popped his ghost. Alright, nice. Maybe I left there a little bit too early, trusting the Shaco Ignite too much. But it's all good. Yeah, the Berserkers do feel so smooth getting this early on, though. I'm liking this uh, alternative setup. Maybe not optimal in every matchup. Like, a lot of matchups, you will... If you have an engaged support especially, you'll want to just go for, you know, the early Serrated Dirk or just a bunch of AD components to burst down the opponent more easily. But then uh, these other matchups, typically when you have an Enchanter or something like that, or you just want to play defensively, the Berserkers are so nice for having movement speed and a ton of attack speed. Nice one. So, do we need to help Shaco here? Or Echo rather? Maybe not. I got my priority straight, pinging the ward in the middle of the fight. Got her. Red buff for me. Can we help here? We definitely can. Wow, he could have queued sooner and would have got the knockup on Draven. Jesus. <laughs> okay, nice, Jesus. Should have gone in while Echo was in. Then maybe I wouldn't have had to flash. But it's all good. Oh god, I should have eat. It's fine, we'll lead her into the box. Just start fighting back. Oh man, my Q didn't go off, she'd be dead. I kept trying to Q the entire time, but I just wasn't in range, even though I was in range to auto. Man, that Q range could do with a buff, I swear to god. I can't fight back here, I've got no mana. Well, it didn't get to test the double pickaxe. Oh well. For another game. Damn it. Danger is real. The Psycho has massively thrown his lead. This game could easily be losable. I don't know the cooldown of Varasalt now that I think about it. It's probably longer than Ashel, right? It is a more impactful ult. So probably shouldn't be up until I've got my ult. Because I can uh, kill him once I've got my ult. Okay, we can do it now. Uh, maybe I should have waited for Q to be back up. That's all good. Yeah, that guy. God, fucking AP Varus is so strong when we won, man. Especially mid lane where he's pretty much guaranteed to be even in XP with me, even if I'm really ahead and he isn't. Level lead is huge. Or being even in levels. <coughs> Ow, what the fuck? I was slowed for so long. I 
Just slowly walked into turret range and couldn't avoid the hit. I need to stay away from Vi. Ult range. I'm also pretty much going to Vori. I'd like to shove one more wave before I get it though. Just for the sake of not missing farm. He took so much damage there. I mean, I guess Kai'Sa and Shaco do have a little bit of synergy in the sense that uh, Shaco W is a free W for me as well. But that's mainly coming into effect now in the mid game. In the early game, there's like pretty decent chances there's minions between me and whoever I want the W, so it's not terribly useful compared to like server Q synergy with Shaco boxes and Jin W synergy with Shaco boxes. Basically, any ADC with a skill shot who's gonna be able to land, uh, especially long range skill shot, who's gonna be able to land it for free because of Shaco boxes, that's the kind of ADCs that work well with them. Especially Jin W, because also, it also CCs the enemy into the box, so they take more damage from the box itself. She may hit me here, blindly. Oh, now I'm sitting on a ward. See if I can get this red buff. <gasps> Varus almost stole that. That oop. Echo did not need to flash. I had him there no matter what. Nice one. <laughs> Jesus, the Rengar CC is crazy. Nice one. I think... I think I may get Zeal here. Just to get that early E evolve. Then we can try out the Runens, which we haven't tried out too much yet. Fuck at the one time I did try it though. <coughs> Nailed it. Okay, I'm gonna do golems and red buff here. Cause I should go for the red and then somebody else can farm mid, I guess. Oh, well, uh, actually. There's not really anybody in a position to farm mid except the support, so I guess I'll just go straight from red to mid. I'll get it, I'll get it. Wait, fuck. Ah, damn it. I actually wanted to W it, but couldn't get in the proper angle because of the casters. Oh well. Can easily get this virus. Oh, it didn't get marked for me. He'll steal. I'm risking it. I'm popping the ghost. Jesus. Of all people here, it had to be Camille who can just lock me down and prevent me from kiting, but it still works out. Nice. Can already base. I will do so. I've got no mana anyway. Their Drake is- or sorry, their blue buff is coming up in 40 seconds. That could be nice for me. It's always nice to get blue buff, especially when, or uh, like, on Kai'Sa, but especially when you're using Navori. And it's, even on any Navori ADC, it's always nice to get blue just to maintain as much ability spam as you want to do. Uh, no, that's not what I meant to buy. This thing, there we go, vamps up there. Get tanky, and this game is unlosable. Ah, uh, damn it, they're in perfect position to defend their blue buff. Well, we're gonna have to kill them for it. Oh. 
I'm just gonna go straight mid and push that. Ooh. Does the sound get anything now? <laughs> Not against the Ghost Raven. <laughs> he must be so annoyed. I saw a Baus clip complaining about the... Like when he dropped it the passive once and he popped his Yomus and shit. Against the Caitlyn, she just popped Ghost and he couldn't reach her and he just got so fucking mad. And started calling it his shit because... The rule is so easy and they can just use Ghost and they don't run it every game because they're idiots. How busted the rune uh, the summoner is on them. Well, if you're playing against Sound Passer, for sure it is busted. Wouldn't necessarily run it every game, but... I do think it is a bit underrated for some players. This is how we save ourselves from Violet. Oh, god damn it. It's apparently it's not that good at doing that. She's still here. <laughs> she was so patient with the Q. Still made it over the wall. My bad. The verse is also incredibly tanky. What the hell? Probably Sona heals. Nice. <laughs> We'll just rush over to the Baron, just in case we're needed, although we probably won't be. Yeah, we're not. What the hell is going on over there, though? The red is up, I think. Sake. Oh, I almost pressed the in time to buy me a little bit of time, which might have actually killed her. Fuck, why does she happen to be there, man? Actually, the fucking uh, double lockdown between Camille Oath and Violet is so brutal. That's why we need to get tanky. Also, Darn's Blade for BF Sword. Oh lord. <laughs> I got ult and I don't think it was CC'd. He just doesn't expect the Varus burst. We're not careful, this Varus is gonna 1v9 in this game. I nearly got Bloodthirster to base 4. Basin for that now. Okay, now it should be significantly harder to go. By the way, the gold should be less... Or, sorry, more even than it looks, just purely because of how many shutdowns we've handed them at this point. But we do at least still have a significant lead thanks to turrets and that one Baron we took. Just saying it's not as big as you would think. Um, I think we can fight them here. Oh man. Come on! There we go. Oh, hello.
Dead. Got him. God damn it, you're kidding me. <laughs> Alright. I can start life stealing. I'm not going to use Q here. I want to kill all of these minions with my auto attack so I get a life steal off of them. Anyway, my Renes is doing a lot of damage in fights when I actually get the free hit like that. Don't know how the fight went so well when I started with Sang getting picked, but I'll take it. Well, I'll triple in him actually. I didn't realize this is what we could do here. sick here as well actually as uh GA. If I can afford that at some point to sell my Lost Whisper and just get GA instead of Lord Dominic's, I think I'll do that. Because they have so many unavoidable like diving tools, but what like imagine if they have to like go really deep to dive me just to put me into GA. That's unwinnable. I think survivability from GA here could be more important than damage from Lord Dominic's. Into their particular Vi Camille duo. <coughs> the hell? I'm so fucking dead here, aren't I? Oh, I'm so fucking close, man. Holy shit. Alright, my bad. I barely even had time to register. It was on my screen before he flashed. I didn't even know who that was flashing on me. Yeah, he's just dying for the turrets, fair enough. Oh no, he didn't actually get one. What is Ringer doing? What are you all doing? Oh no. Okay, well on the bright side, Baron is up and there's no chance they get that, so that's just free for us when we're alive. Nice one. <laughs> yeah, let's go get that. <coughs> I want to take the red as well. I'll go for the red first. If somehow Shaco Fox takes that. Unlucky. Didn't want to delay the red. Waiting for the Shaco Box to run out. Oh well. Just push top, I think. Top or mid, either one. Actually, both, ideally. Not even worth turning around for those. I just need to rush to this wave. There we go. Making a tank here with the Baron buff. Nice. No Vera Assault. Staying outside of the Vi ult range. <laughs> Should have popped go sooner, but... Come on! Ah! They all flashed away. <laughs> 
Oh, well, GG. Alright, gamers, we're back for another Kaisa game. This time we're going to be playing Kaisa with Thresh into Caitlyn Lux. Which is not a right matchup. It's not as good as, like, Blitzcrank would have been. But at least we got some engaged to deal with them. Otherwise, this matchup would be pure pain. Which is still might very well B just depends on how fresh plays mainly foul play doesn't really matter too much oh. wait did they do our red buff we did their blue oh this is good yeah when I said that it doesn't matter how much how well I play by the way it's not about deflecting blame it's also it's also it's also about passing praise to thresh like even if I play really well I would not win this lane will be two is what I'm saying right so if we win it's gonna be entirely thanks to thresh playing well enough which so far good start I landed the one hook he is thrown. <laughs> and it led to a double kill. Nice one. Not the way you start every game, but definitely a desirable way. Damn it, they didn't get level 2 though. That's alright. So maybe I should have done longsword and dagger here. It is just should have more combat stats and the foster berserkers as well. I won't care too much though if I can still get berserkers on my next base. Oh, we just barely get it in time. Thank God. It's not too bad if Thresh gets poked down, as long as he's able to still land a hook. They kind of need to focus me in the fight or lose, usually. Just depends, though, on how low he gets. Okay, nice one. That should be another kill, I believe. See, so they get Thresh, but we, they still lose the fight, right? Oh. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to get Lux. Oh. Still hit by the binding, even though it disengaged. Nice. Trying to not give him away, but <laughs> doesn't help much. Okay, actually, I don't want to crash this because this is not going to crash in time anyway. I need to shove one more wave after this. I don't know why these minions advance. That's kind of annoying. Doesn't matter too much, I guess. Oh man, why? All the minions focus the minion that's like furthest away from them, like it doesn't make any sense. Alright, nice. My items are perfect. Wait, is this the same vein as before? Oh no, okay, it's a different one. She's hard, kind of picked by Teemo though. See what I mean? We live and die by the Thresh. How I play this lane? Doesn't matter as much in comparison. At least I managed to turn that into not a disaster when it looked like he might have died. Turned into not a bad trade.
Currently I don't have W to burst down whoever he hooks though. Place a trinket. Exploit their mistakes. Maybe I should have blocked that for him actually. Oh well, too late now. I barely did that did 30 damage, bro. Got her. And I should live here. Lee, you're gonna have to cover Lux here. No, I'm dead. Fuck, she... Oh, wait, am I? No. Dude, she didn't have mana. Until she's randomly dead. God, that sucks. Oh, well. Ooh, Echo. Way too impatient with the Q there. I'll just keep this. Let me see what happens to Kaelin's or to Lux's mana here. Okay. No, she's like 50 mana. Does her Q really cost... Does it cost 50 mana? Shut down. Wait, it costs less than that. What? I was surrounded by no, it must be 50 minimum. I, I can't believe it's not like 60 though. What the fuck? Oh well. Oh, what's going on here? What the fuck? What was that? <laughs> Live and die by the thresh. Got her. Now we got Lux to... Ah. I got timing the last hit though. Oh well. We'll make kill and miss too much farm here, but still I do need to shove this so I can just spend my gold. Of which I now have a lot. Oh, actually what I would have preferred for push to do here is walk all the way around and then maybe we just cheese Caitlyn. Mm, she actually arrived with Flux anyway though. Wouldn't have worked out too well. Maybe we should have stayed cheese, I don't know. This is more guaranteed at least. Especially if we can freeze here, that would be so nice. Drag it up here, drag it up here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Continue dragging it up, try not to lose the aggro. Perfect! Ah, but they're walking into the turret for no reason, why do they keep moving? They were all out of turret range and then suddenly they're all in range except for this one. Oh well. He still delayed it crashing though. Didn't make zero difference. Hmm. Not gonna work out. <laughs> what are you pinging Thresh for? I was just not a gankable position. Not with how they reacted, at least. Nice, another dra another game of getting an early Drake. Ah, please don't have ult. She has ult. Fuck's sake, man. I hate Lux lanes. Ugh, oh, Lux Caitlyn. Oh, he's dead. He didn't... He couldn't afford to walk back into the Luxy. Alright, my bad. That was on me. As far as I could tell, Caitlyn was alone. I didn't think I read of this, man. I want to see the map there. Yeah, no sign of Lux. Still a good play from her. This is why Cleanse would also be good in this matchup, obviously. Like, it definitely... In the 2v2 matchup, it is better. I'm just counting on Ghost bringing me more value overall. Which it may have already done, anyway. I managed... This is the first time I actually needed Cleanse. 
first time you need it is by level 7, then you're prob probably doing pretty well without it. Yep, perfect. Just cancel recalls. That's fine. Let's engage her. We can definitely dive her though. He just needs to walk up and play. Oh god. Please, no! Fuck. What a waste of a ghost. I shouldn't have done that. Unlucky. Shame. <laughs> At least I got my mythic. Would have also been so much better if I had my ultimate just to get my auto attack reset. Actually, did Thresh tank that? Actually, I'll get my Mythic first, hang on. And I'll walk into lane, there we go, okay. Did Thresh tank that for as long as he could've? Yeah, I think he did, <laughs> look at how low he got at one point. <laughs> I don't even know, yeah, he played that as well as he could. Miracle he even lived as long as he could. As he did, sorry. Um... Damn it! Just standing right at a W bull spot, then I cast it, and then she moves out of the way. So unlucky. Gotta watch out for Caitlyn having go for us as well now. Oh. No, come on. I got her. <gasps> I didn't mean to go into turret there. That could have been a huge mistake. Okay, I'm a bit lucky here. Got um, Nice one. Huge. Well played Thresh. That was actually really well played, I think. Did a really good job of keeping Lee off of me. If were in low elo, they wouldn't have even used the E. Don't know if he did that on purpose as well, but he was also standing in front of the potential Lee Q, so he couldn't hit me with Q. I think it was on purpose. Just no way for Lee to kill me there if Thresh plays it right. Unless he flashes on me. With Flash it's easy, but I guess he didn't have it. Nice one. So as I said, we live and die by the Thresh, and the Thresh is living, I guess. The skin grows restless. Sadly, probably gonna give up a turret here. Oh, she does zero damage, maybe not. Oh, where's the- did she place a trap? I can't tell. Is there a trap there? Bro, Kayla makes me so paranoid. I swear, I swear I heard the sound of a trap, but maybe I'm trolling. Okay, it's good we didn't give it up, because it would be first turret. We would like to avoid handing that over. Possible. Maybe our team gets it soon. Oh! I needed to dodge that. Alright, that's fine. Well, I didn't need to, but... It... Like, I don't know why Lux isn't just bursting me, like... I was thinking earlier, like, I guess she didn't have hold, but she, d she definitely should have hold now, right? So... Why not burst me, even if I'm still gonna kill Caitlyn anyway? Like, at least burst me back, right? Get me low, so maybe I can't dive you here. Yep. No, they ended up getting first turret just on a different lane. Oh well. <laughs> wow, both of us were so close to getting first turret as well. By the way, I think the only way this matchup is playable for Vayne is if she runs cleanse. The team was such a hard counter. I don't know if she blind picked or opted into the matchup, but either way, it's a bit unfortunate. A moving target lives longer. I think we'll do Bloodthirster here. I think it's gonna be it's gotta be Bloodthirster. Hmm, he should not be trying to do this.
Yeah, we're gonna take a lot of damage pretty much guaranteed from Team Mushrooms throughout the entire game. That we can't avoid and we want to make sure we're healthy. Yeah, we're not getting that. Drake, I don't think. Even their Teemo is here, so honestly, just give it. Just, uh... Enjoy the fact that Vayne is hopefully gonna get a free turret here. And I'm gonna try and help her. Okay, red is up. I'll take that first. Oh, pink there. They know I'm here. By the way, their team also doesn't really have much front line. Pretty much their entire team is a front line, as far as we're concerned. Like, the only people who are good, who are melee are just people who want to one-shot me. So, it's especially valuable to go tanky here, so that the people who are going to be trying to kill me just can't. And they have no response to me. But it's going to be much more damage to survive here than to, like, maximize our damage, for sure. We may also want to consider doing um, QSS relatively early on, maybe right after Bloodthirster to get rid of the Teemo blind, since a lot of the time he will be the only frontline we can hit. I'm assuming he doesn't want me to have that. I could take it anyway, but I'll not take it just to not piss him off. Getting honey fruit just for the mana. We could also use the QSS for the Lux combo, of course. It's good in more ways than one here. Is it gonna get him? I don't think so. <laughs> Ooh. Holy crap, I got an assist. Okay. So I can do with life stealing off these minions as hard as possible in a game like this. Nice one. But you see how like Timo is basically frontlining there? Because he doesn't have a frontline. Oh god. Okay, I die here, but that's that's uh, as good an outcome as we were gonna get, I guess. I think what I should have done. Hang on. How oh, close am I? Okay, I basically got it. Cool. So what I should have done actually is, hang on, I'll show you exactly where I messed up here. I shouldn't have stopped here to cast another auto. What I needed, to, I had already marked them, so I could ult if if I needed to in case he like flash ulted me or something. Uh, but I needed to at least let it, like, let him have to either chase into me where my team is damaging him, so he has to ult somebody else, or force his flash if he wants to ult me, in which case, I think he ended up doing, like, ult into me and then flash in the same direction where I ulted, which was a bit unfortunate, but, uh, like, it was easily avoidable if I'd just, uh, not been so aggressive there, auto-attacking him, when the first auto-attack for the mark on the ultimate was all I needed. After that, my, my emphasis should have just been on getting away from him. Making sure he has to ult somebody else, or flash onto me if he wants to ult me. Should have, uh... Oh, fuck me. Oh, I should have been able to do more to him there. I'm sad. Oh, well. Ow. This is why we need Bloodthirster. Because all this damage we're going to take is so unavoidable. Doesn't have Leandris yet, at least. <laughs> Ooh, Caitlyn. Thresh, way too aggressive. When they were clearly cooking something. Ooh, this is good, though. Just don't let Lee get enraged to ult me. Perfect. Can I go in here? Ooh, close one. Oh my lord. Oh, 
Oh, if that kills me, I'm gonna be so fucking sad. Holy shit. I just barely live. My lord, okay. Nice one, Talon. Let's fucking go. Can we get the strike? Should be able to. Who's up? Just the Zed. Where's the fucking Zed, though? I don't know. I need Vayne to come here. Okay, Zed seems to be mid. Okay, we get it for free. Perfect. Now we get QSS. I'll shove the midway first, I guess. We get kill evolve at uh, sorry evolve at level fourteen by the way, so we're one level up away. Usually you get it around the time you finish bloodthirster if you're doing bloodthirster third. But since I'm so ahead this game and I completed it so early, I'm still only I was still only level twelve. Which is definitely I don't know is it's an argument in favor of doing like zeal if you're ahead, but that's the thing is bloodthirster is a better item if you're ahead than runans right. <laughs> So I'd still probably rather just go for Bloodthirster third and just accept the delayed evolve. I can maybe get kill in here. Nah, the minions are gonna be in the way now. Ooh, almost landed. Then it might have been in range for ult. Get her. Okay, nice one. Thrash. Yeah, I'm all for this Baron idea, honestly. But I guess we're not gonna do it. Wait, the red is up now. Wait, why is it still up? I can take that. I thought Echo wanted it. Well, she is very dead here. Stopwatch or no stopwatch. That was a huge waste. I should have ghosted there so I could keep pushing here. Yeah, I definitely could have done something more if I just ghost. Okay. Still heard that though. Oh, and I didn't notice this, my bad. We got him. Nice one. What are we doing? Inhib? Yeah, I guess Inhib is fine. Then maybe we can also do Baron. I don't think it, I got left still anyway. Okay, I don't think we're gonna do Baron. You got the blue though. Honestly, I'd rather ghost to me than Talon. Nice. Because I'm gonna be spamming my abilities a whole lot more than him. Alright, got Runance. Yeah, because I'm Navori, I just use my abilities more than he does. I hope I was fine there, but I don't want to risk it turning into a double kill for them. An ally has been slain. Well, hopefully that's not a Baron for them. Well, that doesn't inspire confidence that this won't turn into a Baron for them. Fuck it, Zed. Holy shit. Damn it. No, he just barely got me. Fuck. <laughs> this is two games in a row of Vayne not interacting with the game, but... Hopefully she gets something here at least. She has three co-participation men. Oh, I don't know. What could I have done better there? Let's see. I think using either was a mistake. 
I'm forced to use my ultimate here just to avoid his shurikens. When it could have just been my E. And that was fine. Don't know what the fuck Thresh or Zed was trying there. That was a nice juke on the Luxol. Nice juke on that. So I think I think I got Greedy Trent to finish Lee here. I think what I should have done was... Uh, like, look at look at Killen. She's in thing. She's in thing. If Thresh flays her, she's dead. I should have just gone on Killen, yeah. I, did, I just straight up did not notice that. We'll get a red elixir for now. Can we get the Shrek? Close one. We tried. Not much to do. Kill on the price. I don't think that brown means too much if we have a super. Or, well, actually, two inhibs. Nice. Two waves worth of super minions and still enough of a lead to beat them in team fights as well, I think. I should probably get Red Trinket, by the way, to avoid Team Mushrooms. Steal as much as I can here. I don't need to use Q. I want to conserve mana by not using Q, since my Renan's is such a good wave clear now, anyway. Just some quick poke on Teemo there. Using Stealth, instead of just walking up to him, just so he can't Q us and so he can't block that one auto. Wait, what? Huh, the W gives me vision of the brush, but it doesn't give me vision of the ward. That's weird. Oh, that should be a free call. Oh, come on. How did I step on the trap by accident? Ah! Get the lifesteal. <laughs> I'm barely lifestealing because of the fucking Baron buff, bro. Is there wolves? That should be a call. Perfect. There we go. Huge. Yeah, good damn Baron <laughs> minion damage reduction. <laughs> Makes it so hard to lifesteal off of what should have been a ton of lifesteal. There we go, now I'm healing. <sighs> no way. No, the Zed Shirk. How is he still alive, actually? What? Oh, I thought I assumed I'd killed him there. I'll check that in a sec. Hmm, my bad. Got another elixir here. Okay, how did I not kill him? Oh, the blind. Oh, the blind actually. I, I, it came in one second, one auto sooner than I expected. Oh man, that's so unlucky. If I just killed him. That shuriken would not have hit me and then I would not have died. Oh well. Okay, I'm really I'm full build now. I'm as strong as I will be. Let's try and end sooner rather than later before my lead stops being relevant as they all catch up. I forgot the guy about Trinket, but I don't think it's worth turning back for. Wait, you're kidding me. 
Didn't expect the team mushroom, my bad. This is so fucked, actually. That's on me. Uh, we only went one for one on Bolton as well. Yeah, I don't know what is the point of being Bolton, though. That's a good point. Oh, I can't reach her. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Dead. Can't stick around for the inhib. Hopefully I don't run into any more shrooms. Oh, okay, damn it, Drake in 27. Oh, this is not the uh, soul for either one of us. Exploit their mistakes. Maybe I can, like, try and pressure the inhib here. Zed is up, though, and I don't have ult. Running is only half no, I think I gotta directly contest, if anything. We're not on it. I shouldn't have eat. Okay, I actually live here. No life steal. Uh, all, only off of Drake, really. Holy crap, he did so much damage to Vayne. Or he died. Guys? I guess Lee isn't coming. Okay, we can just end. Nice one. Uh, somebody needs to get these minions, all of them are ignoring them. <laughs> nice, finally Vayne does something. Hello. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Kaisa. This I'm playing Kaisa Lulu into Nyla Senna. Which, I mean, Nyla is always a tough matchup if you're playing a short range ADC. But I think we can make it manageable. There we go, three lost hits and a ton of damage on Senna. Huge. Alright, Zach said he wants to gank, so we're not gonna try and push here or, or continue trading. We just got a small advantage there. I'll just rest up now. We do want to avoid them pushing in too hard, though. Wanna try and... Ooh, well, now that he's only matched the level 2, I kind of forgot that... Uh, they hit level 2 early, thanks to Nyla, but it will. So this is really good. The, uh, the whole time that they're doing this, they're not shoving in the wave. Which means, so long as it's not like exactly under turret when Zack ganks, that's really good. We want it near our turret, but not exactly under the turret. So our minions aren't crashing while we're trying to hurt them. Alright, so now there's no flash. So we focus Senna. Ooh, okay, can't quite get Nala. Would've been nice to land the fifth shot, but... I want to take a turret shot for that. Nice one, Zack. It's gonna help us out a lot. Yeah, this matchup is kind of okay for us. Nala mainly performs really well into melee champs, melee supports. And low ranged champs in general. So, I mean, like, sure, Kaisa and Lulu are kind of low ranged, but they're not melee, for sure. It's definitely not the worst matchup we could have. I don't know I'm recalling there, which is annoying, but nothing I could do about that. I just need to rush into the lane here as hard as I can, or as fast as I can. So, I miss as little CS as possible. No point using W in any of these because I can't actually get them. Actually, maybe that one, but I didn't know at the time. Okay, we got three lost hits. Nice. 
I think she's gonna recall right after this anyway, so there's not much point actually trying to harass her. We'll focus on lost hits. Wait, she's not recalling. Oh, she wants to greet for the plating, but she shouldn't. Just keep going for her. Damn it, I can't fucking see her now. That's annoying. Ooh, this could be very good though. Yep, this should hopefully be a kill eventually. Misclick them out of there. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Oh, I don't have mana anyway for Q. That's fine. Yep, so very good to go for that plating. We knew that she wanted to recall, and that's all she should have done. So the one thing we needed to prevent was... Uh, or one thing we couldn't prevent was her serving in the wave and recalling, but her going for the plating, we can't do something about that. Oh no, damn it. <sighs> that fucking blows. Okay, well this doesn't blow so much. Nice one. <laughs> something to make up for my flash, I guess. Actually, actually, that even only happened because of my flash, I guess, so awesome. Shame I couldn't get the Nell as well, but I'll take it. Yep, Nala needed to base, because look at her items. She was laning with nothing while I had a Thorns Blade, Cull, and Longsword. No point continuing the situation when you had a crash and you could just base. Plating is nice, sure, but you could just always wait and get it later. That was just stupid. Like, I guess the average player would not have punished that at this MMR. But I'm certainly not going to let that slide. See, now she could get the plating because now uh, she's actually based and spent the gold, right? But now she just gives it up when it when she it, when it actually would have been good to go for it. Do I have a pink? No. Yep, Lula should rotate there. That's a good move. I don't mind landing Movie 2 for just a little bit. Doesn't end up getting anything, but it was worth a shot. Oh, God damn this minion. Should have now as well. Nah. This fight is already over. It's just a question of how much they can chase my team for kills. I just want to crash. It's a shame that it's a second wave though, because I won't crash this fast. But at least I can get a ton of solo XP. Maybe even get a level 6. Oh, Senna's, Senna's mid. I didn't need to. I was worried that uh, they might try and flank, but they're not gonna with, without Senna. Where's Nala? There she is. Fuck me, I don't have mana for ult. That blows. <laughs> no. Alright, my bad. Somebody was even warning me. Super close, though. Just needed 20 mana for ult. Nala did not know that I was 20 mana off, off of ult. Actually, can I do... Yeah, this is better. More damage. Is that the shutdown? Talon. Okay. I'd rather Talon have it than Nyla, honestly. The skin grows restless. It needs to feed. If it doesn't, could I be next? Now, I do not run. 
I don't know where Sana is, so I don't want to all in here. Especially not if Lulu's going to wish their cooldowns on me before the fight has even begun. Lula has a ward she can place. Yeah, Talon is around. It was obvious from the way Santa was pathing. Ooh. Okay. Let's try and help her. Damn, if only I could have landed a W on him. Could have ulted. Oh, my W. All good. <laughs> Suppose their dodge thing must have still been on cooldown. Must have a hella long cooldown, considering how powerful an ability it is. Let's try and crash this fast, so now let miss this farm. I won't bother going for the plating. So tempted to go for the pickaxe, but still like a level and a bit away from actually getting the Q evolved, so I think I may as well just go for Mythic for now. Damn. Oh, come on. I got her. Get the focus Nala here. She does mo the most damage. Fucking hell. Wait, I'm stuck here now. Okay, all good. Do I still have a ghost? I do. Okay, huge, huge. Probably could have played it better in some way, but I don't have time to review that. I'm a memory shit. I can't remember what the fuck just happened. <laughs> yeah, we'll just get this little thing and leave. We don't have time to shove the next wave without kill evolve. I mean, we could, but I think it would just take too long. I don't want to delay my recall that much when I've got all the gold I need anyway. There we go. Now we are fucking massive. Damn it. <laughs> I like that she juke. <laughs> Get up. Stand firm. I think we can just walk over mid. Uh, I think. Oh, they never mind. They just won the fight. Okay. Nice one. Does Zach have passive? No. So I wouldn't recommend him coming to dive them then. Look at that trade, holy crap. Feed the beast. Bend of W time to clear that, that's fine. If they base here, they lose the turret. Ooh, this could be very good. We don't even need to rush this, we can just take the turret first.
fucking hate her dodging thingy, man. Ooh, if Zach landed the Elulu lives. Oh well. Nice one. I'll play Zach. Ooh. I can't go too aggressive though because of her ultimate. Oh, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Why is there a top laner here? I'm getting out of here. Mm. I can't. We're not gonna win this, or we shouldn't be favored to win it at least. Oh, come on. Yeah, I got him. Okay, not bad. Oh, hello, Talon. That is an issue. Ah, oh, fuck me. They're all here. Let's go, Singed. Holy fuck, he's fast. What the hell? Just shame speed doesn't increase your damage because it's very weird to look at Singed sprinting around at 9,000 movement speed and not actually doing damage. <laughs> oh. Oh, damn. Okay, not bad. I think this is gonna be a good game to do Bloodthirster third in. We're just gonna do that, even though it's gonna delay our evolve for a bit, but that's all good. Okay, you know what? I baited her flash. Worth. I could flash in a killer right now as well with the Kraken Slayer proc and Q evolve, but it's just not worth my flash. Melt cooldown, fine, but not my five minute flash cooldown. Oh, I'm getting clanked again. Fucking hell, this Nala. Okay. It took a lot of damage there, it didn't deal a whole lot. I'm satisfied with that. Sooner, my bad. We can also get blue. Blue would be nice, I don't have the base yet. Nice. <coughs> Let's go and send another first kill. I just don't have mana, god damn it. Okay, nice one. <laughs> We're just constantly losing and regaining mana during this fight from blue. <laughs> um, okay. The fuck? Out.
learn from them. Could get the scrump if it spawns in a timely manner. Yeah. CBA. I can rid them of these monsters. Now we gotta evolve. Now I'm huge. Gonna be a killable with this bloodthirster, which is all I need. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, fuck me. Whoa, what, what happened to Talon there? What the fuck? Dead. Make it a quadra. Make it a quadra. Don't let me get rooted. Thank you. I got her. Thank you. Nala, you bitch. She could have been here and given me the penta. God damn it. <laughs> the one minion I didn't want to miss. Let's we'll go for Quick Cloak, even though I'd like Lost Whisper. They actually have a decent amount of armor. Tabby's on Nyla for some reason. Tabby's on Senna for some reason. Soon to be Zanya's on Cassiopeia. I spawn on Aatrox. I didn't need to press W there, my bad. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, she died. Perfect. Those fucking BM though that I just dodged the Cassiopeia old stun by <laughs> facing backwards with my W. <laughs> A right click would have sufficed. Okay, nice to do. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Kaisa the Diamond. After the last game, we're officially back in Diamond promos. So let's hope these promos are finally the ones that allow us to break into Diamond and end the series for now. Although I might just have, like, I might occasionally just keep on playing on this account and make videos out of it, just streaming, the, or not streaming, but recording the grind to master on Kaisa. I know some of you are interested in that. I wouldn't do it too much, though. I'd rather focus on my other series, but something I'd be interested in doing sometime. That was uh, a <laughs> funny engage, funny trade. Anyway, yeah, for this matchup, uh, Kaisa, Alistar, it's actually a really good bot lane. Problem is, it's fairly low range engage. You know, uh, we've mentioned before in this video that what we need against Kaelin is Kai says engage. We have it, but it's fairly low range. You really would rather have high range engage into Kaelin since she's a pretty high range champion. Yeah, I just have to back off here. <clears throat> so level one L stars is pretty much nothing unless he wants to flash Q, which doesn't do like amazing damage or amazing lockdown. So 
at the moment we're just going to be getting Rasta's beat and even once he's got all his abilities it really requires a kill and overextend for us to be able to do much to fight back for the moment we just want to try and preserve our HP if we can probably already took more damage than I should have but we got a potion we're back to near enough full HP Oh, ow. I was thinking in my head, why, Alistar? Why? Why aren't you prepping this minion for me? Why? So I was a bit distracted. Oh, shit. Nah, just disengage. It's much better to engage on the Kaelin if possible. Hitting Renata there just forces us to use all our cooldowns on Kaelin when... Sorry, on Renata when Kaelin can just really hit us and not take damage back. This is the next wave kind of wave it is. Oh, hello. Come on. Sadly, I can't get that kill for myself. Ah. Damn it. Does he at least die to me? He does. Perfect. Okay, not bad. I'm certain I could have played that better, but it will. I'm sad the killing didn't die to anybody though. Not to Alistar, not to me. Got Ignite as well. Could have at least got the kill for himself, maybe. <clears throat> oh, I don't know if he did this on purpose. That's super nice. The way he just dragged this wave out slightly. Kind of still dies, unfortunately, but... In another game, another life, that would have just secured me a cannon. So what I want Alistar to do here is just sit in that brush exactly. He's got Hexaflash to pressure with. Is an he, she's not respecting it. Nope. You can just stay in the brush. Nope. Cause she's got a pink, so if we see the pink getting placed, we can pretty much guess where it's being placed usually. Okay, not if she's gone for that long. Could be anywhere. Oh, they're doing Drake. Yeah, let's ignore this wave. Bit unideal that I'll miss out on it, but... Just go for Kayla. I know she has no... Or presumably has no flash. Just ignore Kayla for now, I think. I've oh, nearly got E. Fuck, let me have it. Ah, well. It's hard to communicate it. Ah, I really wish I could have got some kills there instead of only assists. Oh well, because I, I just give up a lot of farm for this. Hopefully I can at least get this cannon. Perfect, okay. It's not too bad then. But yeah, the Alistair thing was pretty understandable. He didn't know my E cooldown. He didn't know that I could get him range. But I know it, so I'm sad about it. Maybe it's worth going for this plating. I usually wouldn't bother, except there's such a large minion wave here. Oh. Well, that minion aggro may have fucked me. Okay, I'm good. Now, if they if they didn't arrive in lane so fast, it would be really free to go for that plating, because the wave is so massive, it just does a billion damage to it, but... I just can't afford to stick around that long. We'll just go for the new quiver here, since we can't afford berserkers. Berserkers would be nice, though. This, is, this will be better for us hitting though, but the Berserkers would definitely make it easier to follow up on Alistar engages and maximize our all-in potential. Without Berserkers, it's, it just makes it easier for Kaelin to just walk away from us after taking a bad trade. It's very satisfying lost hitting with Cassiopeia. <laughs> Decent trade. Yep, 
We actually hit her. Did she waste her net there? I think she did. We'll pop ghost. No way! Okay, thankfully, you can see that Ghost pretty much has the same effect as Berserkers. They take a really bad trade, and so they want to walk away from it, right? They want to disengage it, but I don't want to let them disengage it. I don't want to, I don't want them to walk away from it. I want to keep it going. So we keep running at them, and the higher movement speed, the longer we can drag it out. Thankfully, in this case, this probably worked out even better than having Berserkers since the Ghost was active throughout the whole fight. But Berserkers will make us less dependent on Ghost for that kind of thing. I assume we're getting ganked because she surely wouldn't go for this alone, right? Nice one. I don't know what she was thinking there. It's like I said, I assumed we were getting ganked, right? Because no way she would do that alone, right? But she did it alone. Or what? I don't know. Awesome. Alright, I'm no longer sad. <laughs> this is the most satisfying landing phase we've had so far. Salastar plays well. Ooh, okay, I didn't get hit. Who's the mid laner? Salas. He seems to be on the way. I recommend retreating. Skedaddling. One might say. Oh, I could already get Kraken Slayer. Fuck it. Let's try it. <clears throat> it's gonna pop off super hard whenever we have Ghost up. We have that up in like a minute, so we can think of it as like an ultimate cooldown. As soon as our ultimate comes up, boom, three kills with our Kraken Slayer. Only a child, and no one came to save me. An ally has been slain. Oh boy. I should have got mid as well. Although I would have arrived too late anyway, but should have been my thought process actually looking at the action going on there. Fucking hell, do I need to defend there? No, I can just trade turrets, I think. I'm also tempted to go kill J4 on the Drake. Should I do it? Because this turret is going to take forever, fuck it. I'm a bit too late. Oh, got him! Backroom doesn't have smite, so we wait for their, wait for them to leave, and boom, awesome. I want to keep going here. Ooh, I'm on the way. Got her. Okay, no flash, but we still have the ghost in case we want to use that for a fight soon. Hello. I'm not gonna let her recall here. Get fucked. I think Ellen is staying here, but she will get dived by me if she does. So I'm saving mana. I need to have enough mana to kill her if she stays. It looks like she isn't. I should be fine if I just delay this. I don't, don't imagine I'm getting ganked by J4, given our vision, but it's possible. Okay, cool. 
So the benefit of doing that is that the... Okay, I'm gonna pop Ghost. I was actually thinking of running with it, but this actually works fine too. Oh, my bad. Okay, whatever. We burnt the flash of the ghost. <laughs> Worth, I'd say. I'm gonna have to go farm here, sadly. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Thank God for the W hitbox as thick as Kaisa's butt. Alright, let's try and pressure mid now. <laughs> Don't know where Alistar's starts going. Ooh, this could be good. This could be very good. Oh hell, fuck no. Like really? Fuck's sake. My bad, I guess. Bit unlucky though. That would've gone a lot better if Alistar didn't troll this pathing though. So small things. On the surface it just looked like Alistar was being a little bit silly. But with it, like, we wouldn't have much of a consequence, but in the end, he's just not next to me to peel me when that happens because of it. Oh no. Granada revives. I need to go bot. Well, that was a disaster. Did I give a big shot down? Yeah, f well, 500 to J4, that's actually not bad. Not that, fa not that 500 isn't a lot, it's 800 total, which is, is a lot, but... It's only to J4 who scales pretty bad anyway, so I don't care too much. Would have been a lot worse if it was to Silas or Caitlyn. Fucking hell, another wave approaches. So she's not isolated. All good. Nice one. Oh, hello. I'm dead. <laughs> Man. If you're not gonna- like, if Alistar isn't gonna stand next to me at all times and just make sure I'm safe, then he at least needs to place enough vision. I can't even blame myself too much for a death like this. Because, like, what am I meant to do? Like, path like this? Into mid lane? No. <laughs> I need to take some risks, right? <laughs> I could have taken a slightly lesser one and passed through here, but you th you're telling me they can't just come from here? Obviously they can. I need vision. <sighs> Hecarim, what was that? Oh no. That was really bad. I can't pull the fucking kill link, goddammit. Okay, this is good though. I can't fucking see this trap, goddammit. Give me up! Okay. No! Um, Alice or Salas? What the fuck? Thank you. He was out! He was out and then he came back in. Don't do him away. Don't do him away. Just keep tanking. Let's fucking go. There we go. Who's the run now, bitch? This is a castle with peel. Ah, oh. Alistar doesn't get the cannon. I don't get the cannon. Oh man, nine gold away. That especially hurts. She's probably dead here. <laughs> yep. 
fucking hell. She's really just gonna kill us off there just to kill, just to cancel my recall, huh? Do you think that's smart? The only thing that could safely cancel my recall, she wasted on Cassiopeia. Her Q can travel through minions. <laughs> and the autos are just good, just get her too close to me. <laughs> Holy shit, look at my gold. Felt that one. Go on the way. Ah, that's the way. He's got no EQ combo, he's dead. Fucking hell. Thank you, Alistar. Holy shit. Nope. Fuck, man. Damn it, that fucking Silas goes nuts with Alistar Ultimate. Close. Oh no. Vokas is ult. Oh, wait, this is just Herald. Never, er, sorry, it doesn't have ultimate TP, but this is just Herald, not Baron. Thank God Baron wasn't up or they could they would have just taken it for free. I think she's fucked. Let's just stop watch. Ooh. Ah, yeah, there it is. Damn. Actually, it would have been fun if York didn't have flash, though. Probably. Fucking hell, this Alice is no ultimate cooldown. The if Yurik stays bot, then I'm going bot. Okay, clearly has vision. Ah, oh, I'm trapped inside. How the fuck am I trapped inside? All right, there we go. Swirl's on the outside. Do I have to base here? I don't think so. Everything that I lost it, I'm gonna do it with autos though, in case I need lifesteal. In case uh, somebody actually comes for me here. Okay. <coughs> Go for him. I like it. I just might stay. Fuck's sake. He's dead. He's dead. They forced way too hard, even though most of my team didn't try and kill me. Okay. Fucking hell, that was such an overforce. You see that? I would have been so annoyed if I actually died to that, and he didn't. Oh, nice shutdown again. That's a free Baron for us. Yeah, me and Cass can duel Baron. I guess Sekrom can probably solo that. Oh, fucking Yorick. Do we just go deal with Yorick instead? Uh, I said we ignore him. He'll, he'll only get a tier... Two turret. Perfect. <clears throat> Nearly good enough for blood tester.
should have asked her to let me get, get the wave, the entire wave. We got the Drake, right? Yeah, perfect. It's gonna be great paired with my Bloodbuster. I'm gonna be super tanky. Try and get the spell cause. Never mind, he's dead. Uh, we do need to deal with that. Girl, though. <laughs> Guys. These guys are gonna try and fucking get me. I just need to leave, actually. I they need to leave mid, uh, or they might get engaged on if they choose not to go for me. Yeah, you see them. They're just waiting for me. I don't fucking know that I'm safe still, but nobody's going to help me. I might just be able to 1v2 anyway, we'll see. They're coming for me now. No, I was I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, sick. It's like I said, I can probably 1v2. I think my choice of words was maybe, but that was not even close. My skin is crawling. I need it. Whoa. What was that slow? This thing slows you? I didn't even know that. Oh, I actually got the kill in. This could be the Penta. It could be a Penta. Come on, come on, come on. Let me have it, let me have it! Let's fucking go! Good start to the promos. <laughs> GG.